everybody. Welcome back to Rob's Gaming Table. I'm Rob. I'm Mel. And we're here to continue our playthrough of Familiar Tales. Uh, published by Plat Hat Games. Welcome. Welcome. Hello, everybody. Happy Thanksgiving to our fellow Canadians. I think it's like Columbus Day or something for the U.S., right? I know it's another holiday because usually, maybe not usually, but in the past, I know this weekend over the last decade or so, we would usually take a little dip to the U.S., visit a theme park, you know, Try to be there for the Monday when it's less busy, but then sometimes we think that on a long weekend, and then we go there and it's just as busy, if not busier, and we're like, what the hell happened here? I thought it was only a Canadian holiday today. Nope, it's also a US holiday for people, some people, and then it's like, oh no, whoopsie, but uh, I think today is one of those days. I think it's Columbus Day. And Jackpot Man, you don't have to do the homework. I, I was only joking, but don't expect uh, to pass this year. And I'm sending an angry letter to your parents for you not doing your work. But other than that, you don't have to do it today. That's fine. Yes, it's Columbus Day or, in, oh, Indigenous People's Day is what oh, it's called. Okay. okay, I gotcha, I gotcha. Yeah, yeah. Nice. Gotcha. Yeah, that makes sense. Oh, Columbus Day and basically just the post office closed. Oh, it's just like oh, one of those federal. Okay. Yeah, okay, one of those. Not everybody's off. Yeah, it's like going to be, it's one of those like federal government only holidays. Okay. And then some businesses will like just do it if they want to kind of thing. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Hi, Sacabra. <laughs> <laughs> I love that you come in now, which is that emoji every yeah, time. Just... You're like, hi. Hi. <laughs> Hand up. <laughs> Hand up. <laughs> Dude, thanks for letting me off the hook. <laughs> oh, Buell's at work today. No holiday for you. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, I just didn't know. I know sometimes there is. There's another one in the spring that happens to... That's like on, on a, I think it's like it's, Memorial Day yeah. or something. Uh, I don't know. Like that's in the summer. President's right? Day or oh, something. Okay. It like lines up with like uh, our one of our holidays in the spring or something. And I remember we'd like go to the U.S., go to theme park, book hotels and stuff. But there is one that like doesn't line up. And I remember that's the best because you stay there. I think it's the Friday or the Monday we have off and the U.S. doesn't or at least Ohio doesn't or whatever. Or it's up, upstate New York uh, or whatever. And then we go there to one of the theme parks. And it's like a ghost town. So fun. You can get on every walk on any ride. No lineups for food. No lines to get in. So good. But uh, yeah, it's, it's cool. Hand up, head nod, a la Dr. Head Nod. Dr. While passing in the halls in classic TV shows. Mm -hmm. <laughs> or like the little, little queen wave. Little 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 royalty wave. Hey Semper, how's it going? Hello. All right, let's continue this story and see where it goes. But before we get into it, let's discuss a little bit. Pull a follow up from yesterday. Actually, let me do this first. So anyone that wasn't here yesterday near the end of the stream, we got in a boss battle. Uh, I raged. <laughs> I raged, ranted. All my feelings about poorly written rule books came out and targeting people outside of our hobby with the, you know, we support one player, we support two player and, you know, not really testing it, obviously, or making it too difficult, but not saying that stuff in the rule book. It just feels shady to me. That's the feeling I get from it. So that irks me a lot. I get irked when I feel like I'm lied to through marketing and tricked as a consumer. So I lose my mind. As simple as it is. Some of you are like, Rob, you're crazy. You take things too serious. Um, I don't know. I feel like sometimes it's my job because I do know people have come here and they want to see how we play something. They always ask our thoughts. If I don't give my thoughts in a video, I'll see it 16 times in the chat. What does Rob think of this? Hey, I'm just dropping in. What do you guys think of this? Hey, uh, I was debating on buying this. What do you guys think of this? So I like to be open and honest, okay? Whether or not the company sent me the game. I, I, I like, if I have to explain that I'm not being honest here, like you're missing, I'm like, I don't even know. But anyways, um, yeah, I'm not swayed by free swag. I, I learned that 20 years ago working in the corporate world uh, with the vendors and like, uh, yeah, your free laptop or trying to offer me a free electronic, you know, to try to sway my RFP decision is not not going to work. Not going to work. So uh, I, I don't fall for that crap. If your stuff sucks, I'm calling it out. And uh, I've been that way in my past jobs, been that way in life. And that's the way I'm going to be here and be me. It's Rob's gaming table, not I'm every other YouTube channel that does board game content on the internet, table.com, whatever, okay? 
So this is Rob's channel, I do it my way, deal with it. Um, the other thing is, today I'm gonna to try to take a more positive route. Uh, what I'm doing today, for, for science sake, uh, I know there was recommendations on PG. Edgar was bringing it up yesterday. I did read it over the, when I was researching the game and recently, there is questions about running it at a lower player count being harder because you are managing only one hand and supposedly it's robust. It's robust and balanced and blah. No, it's not. Even the designer himself says it's tough as solo playing four characters with one deck, but it's doable. Yeah, no, you don't, you don't make family games doable and super challenging. Like, obviously they're targeting the hardcore gamer with this game and then trying to slap that it's a family game on the box. But the theme and the story aren't matching the lack of clarity in the rule book and the unbalanced, unplay tested player count mechanics. It's not balanced. So we're gonna go with what the developer recommends and what other people I've seen recommending in BG in the forums for people complaining, the game is too hard, doesn't make sense, or uh, on a lower, player count running all four characters with one hand. And the rule book tells you that's the way you should play. The rule book is very clear. If you are controlling more than one familiar, run one deck. Doesn't tell you you can run two if you want, and it can be harder if you run less and blah, blah, blah. But it's obvious. When you're getting attacked by an enemy over and over again, and you have less defense options to play, you're gonna get hit harder. You're gonna have more chance of dying. You're gonna get more misfortune. Bad things are gonna happen. Blah, 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 blah. It's frustrating, okay? But if you're coming at it as two adult players, you treat it as a hardcore game, which it doesn't look like that at all, and you want a challenge, play with two familiars, play with, you know, one hand each, you're fine, okay? But I just wish the rule book told you that. I wish it was up front and clear and wasn't so shady, um, but it just tells you play that way. But, and I know, I said right from the beginning, it's super easy to play. You can play with solo, and you can run four hands in this game, four characters. It's easy, right? We're all hardcore gamers here. It's easy. But this is not a hardcore game, this is targeted at families, okay? Keep that in mind, eight plus. Eight plus, play with families, got a Disney story to it, okay? It's obviously a family weight game. Trying to be pleasing both sides, but I think it's a little sketchy. Still an awesome game though. Still an awesome game, don't get me wrong. Still an awesome game for what it is, okay? But we're gonna play today, separating the decks out. And we're gonna run one deck per character. We divvied up the cards. We divvied up the cards as equally as possible. We put fatigues in both, you know, the fatigues that were in that one deck we each were running. We divvied them up half. We roughly spent the energy. We eliminated, we, we redrafted all the cards we purchased. We separated the decks. But one thing I noticed, I reread the rules this morning super carefully, just refreshing myself, going through them again for like the sixth time going through this rule book. Tried to make sure if there was something I was missing. The rule book's very short, very quick, as you expect if you played any of these Jerry Hawthorne storybook games. They're just like, they give you the basics, but then they're missing some of the basics you don't realize so you start playing it. But there is one here that I know we've messed up, I'm probably pretty sure, because I totally forgot. When I read it, it jumped off the page. The fourth point above my head here, uh, beside the green little diamond, if you roll a power symbol and go on to pass the test, increase the familiar's power dial by one. I bet we've done it at least a couple times where we rolled, got the power symbol, failed, and still took the power. We may have, yeah. We may have. We are not sure. We can't remember those. Tests, we usually but. roll tests. We usually test with the equal number. I know sometimes we test like one less or two less. Yeah. Very but that's very rare. Very rare. And we don't roll the power. We usually roll a bad things on that. We never yeah. roll the plus two, you know, that kind of thing. So this power symbol is pretty rare. So I don't know how many times if it's ever lined up where we played that wrong. But it, when I read it, I was like, oh, that's a rule I forgot. Yeah. I probably wouldn't have done that if, if that happened in the game. So we may have an extra power or two that we took. But, I, but we're I, don't, not sure. I don't care. Like, I'm not going to correct it, whatever. Not a big deal. Um, but yeah, so we divvied up the decks. We divvied up the decks. So I'm playing with a deck for Gribbert. I put all Gribbert starter cards in here, which have his art on it. Then I put all the cards we've purchased from the upgrade row. I put them out. Then I drafted them, you know, roughly equally, assuming they each had roughly the same energy. I also looked at how much energy they spent on story cards. Kind of math that in a little bit to decide where I break ties. Because obviously if somebody's gone through more of their story and bond cards, that means they've spent more energy on that and less energy on buying cards. So Gribbert in this case, he's done it less. So he has an extra three energy of cards in here, I think. I divvied up the fatigues roughly equally. We shuffled up. We're just going to play this way today and try it out. But if, if the people on Board Game Geek in the forums are to be believed, it's going to get real easy. And I guess the designer too, who's responded on some of that stuff saying like, 
you know, running two-handed is kind of the way to, to do it, even though it doesn't say it in the rules, and that's not what advertising on the side of the box or in the rule book, it tells you. So if you're a new to the hobby and you're playing this with your kids, you're not going to know how to do that at first, and you're going to start playing the game real challenging, might drag on, you might get stuck in boss fight loops. Also, playing Devil's Advocate, I thought about it a little bit, thinking maybe we were wrong, but I think there's lots of variables at play where I ranted and got stuck and, and was getting frustrated with the game yesterday um, because I was picturing like two eight-year-olds sitting across the table from us and playing with them oh, yeah. and how they get bored out of their effing mind in that stupid loop we were with the boss yep. and how the boss just kind of stayed in our space and if we never moved, the boss just kind of stayed there and just got this boring loop of just literally play cards, roll dice, play cards, roll dice, like mindlessly hitting each other, slapping back and forth, watching his cube go up and down over and over again, just simplifying it, it became real boring. Um, but I'm assuming some parents are just going to be like, yeah, you know what, let's just, let's just move on. Um, but we did make weird story choices. Thinking about it earlier in the stream, I was even like, yeah, I went for the goat. I'm doing this. We're making these weird choices that maybe, like I said, their playtesters never did and they don't expect you to do. So it led to this weird situation. It could be on us, but then that's never on the player. That's on the designer and the playtester to catch that. And we, this is not the first game we've had that happen. Like I said, Tina Grill is the one that comes to most memory where we did that kind of stuff, we make weird choices, we, we try to poke and prod the game, we go weird ways, we try to see different things, um, we're trying to have fun with the game, playing within the systems and the options, test those options, you know, because you could hit an, a dead end or an unplaytested thing that's imbalanced, and I think it just comes down to the offering of the too many modes, like the whole idea of like, you can play this, any player count, and then run multiple familiars, and that whole running one card, then also tracking in the app of all the decisions. It's like you can't play test all that with a small publisher. Like, um, do you have the rule book? Yeah. I, I then this is what made me think, like, okay, this is probably what's happening here, the, the non-play tested thing, right? Because I look at this, and less people worked on this game than narrated the game in the app, narrated the story. Like there no one even wants to admit they worked on the rule book here. Like nobody wants to admit it. You know? Like this editor guy, did he just edit the location story stuff? Did he did he edit cards? Did he edit the rule book? I, I don't know who this editor guy is. But like, I, I just don't think they play tested. Like, is there even play testers in here? Like ma maybe anything. they never play tested it because again, this familiar tales is like literally building off the same foundation of like six or seven or eight other games that have been built over the last 15 years using the exact same systems you know, and slowly evolving. So maybe they're just like, you know what? We trust it, it's the same. We only tweaked a few things, you know? Let's make the polish look good and the story look good. But the mechanics, the game, the balance, eh, we just want to sell copies. So let's put player one to four in the box. Let's make an option so they play with one deck each to make it simple for families and kids and stuff. And um, yeah, let's not play test it, let's just pump it out the door. That's what I'm getting. That's, that's the only conclusion I can come to, playing hundreds and hundreds of games over the years, but um, yeah, so today we're going to try this mode, which is not supported in the game. I am one human, and I'm going to play one deck and control uh, two decks, sorry, two decks, and I'm going to control two familiars. We are officially house ruling the game right now, as recommended by other players and the developer in the BGG forums, okay? So when that kind of stuff happens, you know the game wasn't play tested worth crap, or at least this variant or mode, the game in general wasn't play tested properly, if literally players have come to that conclusion and the developer is like, oh yeah, just play it, or the designers just like, play it this way. Yeah, yeah, just play it this way. It's, it gets too hard on the lower player counts, but it's, it's, it's beatable, I swear. I've done it once, you know, but that's the designer who made the game and knows every option, every system and that kind of stuff, so. Okay, so got that off my chest. So hopefully that helps somebody out watching in the future. We're going to do this, experiment sake. We're going to play this. We're going to finish today's era, aka chapter two also, and uh, get to the end of it, see how it goes, trying to play this. So that we're more educated and understand like the difference and you can see it yourself watching us play through it. So maybe this can help you understand if this game is for you or not, or maybe you're okay doing this. But again, everyone's family count is different. Everyone's player group is going to be different. If you're buying this solo, maybe you want to run four hands, maybe you don't. But keep in mind, it's going to be more difficult one way versus the other, right? So just understand that going in because it doesn't tell you that on the box. It doesn't tell you that in the books. It'll tell you that if you dig on a, on a niche website called BoardGamingBeat.com, which mom who's in our grandma who's buying a Christmas gift in you know goes in the local game store doesn't know about boardgamegeek.com so um and families playing this game might not know about boardgamegeek.com 
it's a niche thing, okay? Um, so yeah, I just wish they were more upfront in the rulebook. There you go. Edgar, yes, we did bring back all the cards that we did banish at the yes. beginning. Yes, we did. Yeah, I reset the I reset the decks, like I said earlier in the stream. I reset the decks back to the original starter decks for each character. There's art on the card, you can tell it very easily. We then divvied up the fatigues half and we redrafted all the cards we purchased, keeping in mind all the story bond and craft cards we spent energy on. So it's not perfect, but I don't care about spending more than 10 minutes figuring that out. So we just divvied it up. We have new decks. We're going to keep playing it with the full thing. And what you're going to see, I know what you're going to see based on us playing like Aftermath and stuff, you're going to see when we're getting attacked by enemies and we pick a character to defend, maybe that character will actually have more likely the symbols in their deck show up that actually make their items that they spent resources on work, right? How many times I had this Oaken Shield and I'm having Chalk attacked on defense and I don't have Mountains in hand, but I have a whole bunch of symbols that Gribbert wants in his deck and vice versa, okay? Not to mention, I block with Chalk, I spent a couple cards and now I pick Gribbert to be attacked. Because we have to, because these guys are dying because we played the way recommended is let your health go low. And that's what you should do when it gets harder. But then, I don't have cards to help with his defensive items. He gets smacked a little harder. Now I have no cards in hand when I get to my player turn. And yeah, I've defended two characters. And yeah, she could play link cards to help me. But it still feels bad, man, because you have less options. And the game is definitely tougher when you do that. It's, it's obviously confirmed by the designer in the forums. Go read some of those rules forums. Go read some of the answers. Just like Aftermath when we played it. It's just kind of a letdown. I just kind of shake my head every time I read this stuff. But uh, maybe the next game they design that's a copy of this one, we'll, we'll, they'll fix it this time, and they'll learn, and they'll care of, about improving. Not just making the art better, and the audio better, and the app better, and the components better. Maybe they'll make the rulebook better, and the systems better, and be more open and honest to the player counts, and the variants, and playtests. Yeah, maybe. But probably not. But what can you expect? I just won't be playing the next Jerry Hawthorne game. Even though this game's awesome, I, I don't want to touch it. Not, not with a 10-foot pole. Just because of me personally. It's just, just what I... I way, what, so many other games that just put more pride in that stuff, and they need to be rewarded for that. So, anyways, thank you. All right, let's do it. Let's go. Let's play the game. Let's get to the story part, which is awesome. The voice acting, awesome. The adventures, awesome. The art, the presentation, awesome. The gameplay is okay. But let's get back to it. I want to get to the story part for sure. Uh, 301. 301. Oh, yeah. Let's get to This is where we start. Get some headphones. Hopefully, this now works. Let's see. Let's see. Put some, some earbuds in. Hey, Tim. Welcome from Germany. Hello. This is going to be our recap, I assume. So, if you haven't watched previous ones, you don't know what's going on in the story. Here is your previously on Familiar Tales. Oh, uh, no. <laughs> I don't hear anything. Mm. <laughs> Let's try again. I knew it. After I rebooted the computer and everything. I'm like, I know there will be problems. Uh, what could be doing it? Let's see. Hold on. I think I know. Should be a quick fix. One second. Okay. Go back. No. The familiars prepared to dive into the frightening Witchwood, where they hoped to meet with their master, the wizard Marilius. They carried with them an infant girl they knew was being pursued by the evil Lord Parrish. The familiars defeated Griselda's henchman, the foul doll Ouch, and they escaped the Witchwood. Once outside, they learned Lord Parrish, the royal steward, had plunged the kingdom of Principalia into war against its peaceful neighbors. The road heading north was packed with refugees fleeing their homes for the safety of Domenholt, the capital city. Domenholt. They stood at the verge of the Witchwood, having pulled off the main road to avoid the stares of passing travelers. Blaze sighed wearily. <sighs> what now? We cannot remain in the Witchwood, but this land is unknown to me. You must hurry to Domenholt, the capital of Principalia. The familiars whirled around and gasped at the sight of Marilius. The wizard gave them a happy grin. I am, I am glad, glad to see you well, well, my friends. But then he winced and held his sides as if they pained him. Gribbert ran to him. Marilius! I'm so happy to see you, Ash. 
but the frog tried to embrace his master's leg and passed right through with a cry. I am afraid I am not really here. <laughs> Aurelius coughed. I am sorry. Lord Parrish, the royal advisor, has made a play for the crown, and he did not like the queen visiting our cottage. He is a fool, though, Parrish, for this land has magics which are not kind to would-be usurpers. Flicker hovered around the image of Marilius nervously. Oh, but what do we do? You said head to... Domenholt? Where is that? Will the humans accept us? Just follow the roads northward, sweet Flicker. Help the farmers along the way if you can, and they will guide your travels. Once you arrive in Domenholt, seek out Pengrouse. He's an old friend of mine. Tell him everything. Once in the city, you will need to keep to yourselves as much as you can, and by all means, keep the princess hidden. But I placed a spell on you when you left. It won't hide you, but it will, uh, how should I say this, uh, normalize you. Unless they're actively seeking you or staring at you too long, most folk will glance at you and look away. Oh! Aurelius gave a cry and the image flickered. There is no more time. Go, my friends. Go to Domenholt and seek out Pengrouse. And with that, the image vanished. Gone, gone! Chirped Tweets. Easy, Chalk. Blaze rubbed up against the golem's leg. Marilius will be okay. I mean, if anyone would be, it would be him. Agreed. <sighs> Gribbert brushed himself off. Good thing he was kind enough to provide directions. My froggy fog is bad and... Despite living in this region not too long ago, I have no idea where we are. Of course, it doesn't help that I'm so small now, either. Chapter 3 objective. Mel, can you show us the map? I sure I'm can. I'm curious. Oops, so, right. chapter 3 objective. Uh, okay. You, like, hold it in the middle. And then go like this. So, we're at the Heartland... And we're trying to make it to Dom and Holt. We Look at all these branches. Yeah. This one. We go to the border farms, the caravan, or the contraption farm, Gretchen's farm. Like, this is so cool. I just want to show this, how, like, it branches off so we didn't cross the bog, for example. And the hidden gallery and the road trip never happened. So it's just, like, different ways that would affect different things. And I loved hearing, um, who was it yesterday? Uh, Blanky Cat. Blanky Cat in the chat was just like how different it was from what they did in their playthrough, which I think is really cool. That needs to be like, I love that in games. That needs to be in more games. That's awesome. I love that part of it, the splitting off, which again could have led to why we're in a weird situation. We never talked to the little bird guy, you know, at that thing, we went for the goat, weird things happen, yeah. getting the ax versus not having the ax, like all this kind of stuff could lead to a completely different experience if you play this game. Yeah, because maybe we didn't have to fight him if we talked to him first <laughs> at the beginning instead of him running into the cottage. Who knows? So, like, all this complaining I'm doing maybe is, like, totally fine. But, again, it's still still related to the difficulty and stuff. Like, that still does is a thing no matter what you choose in the story. Uh, okay, so we need to travel to the capital of Dominholt in the north. All players draw up back up to a hand of five cards. Five. Okay, I'll try to keep that over there. One, two, three, four, five. Keep that one over here. Okay. Okay. Choose whether to follow the travel route on the campaign travel map to the east location or the west location. Fill in the bubble. Oh, oh I do we want to go east or west? I know who's choosing that choice. It's not us. Chris, hello. Chris, how's it going? Welcome back. Hello, board game geeks. Hello. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're a board game geek. You're not a board game geek. Uh, so should we go East Road or West Road? And again, if you played this already, you know what happens one way, choose the other. Choose the same way. Do whatever you want. It's all good. Don't worry. Just, just vote. Have fun. It's all good. Play along. And then we'll need to enter the number. Uh, Mel, show them. Maybe it makes a difference uh, based on looking at the map, right? So we could go the West Road or the East Road. So one could lead to border farms. One could lead to like... Gretchen's farm, but so could the other way. So I, I I don't know. There's like so many ways to go. 
Jackpot man, with the super <laughs> chat. Member for 11 months. 11 months. Oh, Whoa. you almost got that gold die. Very nice. Thank you, Jackpot man, for the long-term support. Says, Thank go you. West. Nice. Thank you so, so much. Well, I'm sorry. Your super chat's not going to sway the voters, I hope. But <laughs> Get it, your vote it in. Might. It might. I don't know. He just basically the equivalent of buying a billboard during like voting <laughs> times is like, you know, vote my way. Advertisement posted right <laughs> yeah, across yeah. the screen. Trying to sway the voters. Oh, no, no worries, Tim. No worries. <laughs> no worries. It's all good. I forget people's names, too. It's all good. No worries. No offense. Oh, Jackpot Man voted East. Oh, what oh. the? <laughs> he's, he's like Two-Face. Half of it, like, he's got a two <laughs> split personality going on. It's like, I vote this way, but I tell everyone I vote this way. That's good. All right, let's close the poll. We are going west. West. So what's the number I'm entering in the app for West Road? Three, two, five. And just like that, he lost his hat. What a terrible day for Jax the Cat. Gribbert finished his song with a flourish. Flicker cheered and Chalk clapped, but Blaze hushed them all. Her ears stood up on her head. Wait here. And off she went dashing down the road as silent as she could. She was back less than a minute later. A couple of minstrels sit by the road with a broken down wagon. Gribbert smiled. <laughs> Sound like my kind of people. Flicker nervously rubbed her hands together. We need to be careful. Minstrels excel at spreading rumors. Gribbert nodded. Yes, and some can be rather untrustworthy, but nobody really believes a minstrel's rumor. Flicker sighed in relief. Well, that's good at least. Together as a group, decide what you will do next. Oh, okay. Let me put uh, options one, two, three here. One, let's do one, two, three. Okay, option one, there's a poll in the chat. Option one is spend precious time to help the minstrels. Option two, pass the minstrels, but wish them luck? Question mark. Or leave the road and avoid the minstrels. So should we help the minstrels, pass them, but get, wish them luck, or leave the road and avoid the minstrels? Option one, two, or three. Polls in the chat. If you're watching live, you can decide what option we choose. I don't know what I would choose. Uh, hmm. Yeah, that's tough. I don't know. Like the precious time thing. Like how how does that work in this game? Like misfortune. Misfortune, right? Or Probably. Just Comfort. Discomfort, yeah. Or Misfortune and discomfort. Oh, yeah. But it could lead to cool bonuses, special cards. Who knows? This is what I, goes through my head when I'm thinking, like, how in the game system do we get punished for time? But it should be some kind of reward to it. Pass them but wish them luck is kind of like just medium. And then maybe leave the road and avoid them is like, helps us out with the baby and the misfortune. But we miss out on goodies. I, I, that's just what I would think. But who knows? Option two is way too sassy, says Edgar. <laughs> Didn't though they say like kind of like avoid people and... But remember we have a spell on them where they'll just kind of like leave yeah, us but... alone. So that kind of answers the question when you're like, why aren't people freaking out? There's a rock golem with a baby on its back and a bird chirping in its ear. Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, don't worry about it. There's a spell on you to take care of all that. All right, I'm going to close the poll. Thank you everyone that voted. So it's a tie for two or three. All okay, right. Everybody wants us to help, so that's good. So I'm going to put a vote under the table on a fingers. Just, just do your number you'd vote for, one, two, or three. And you're going to put one oh, okay. between two or three. So when I, we, I say three, two, one, you lift up and you'll have like, you know, your fingers showing of whatever the number is. Okay. Uh, all right. Three, two, one, two. All right, two it is. <laughs> I don't want to, like, if I said my way, you'd kind of like, yeah, sure. And if you said your way, I'd go, yeah, sure, whatever. But this way, we, you know, we will, all right. So we'll like rock, paper, scissors. Pass the minstrels, but wish them luck. Is your misfortune five or higher? No, could you imagine if it was? Like, how would you? How could it be at this point? Maybe other things. But don't you reset when your uh, chapter ends? Yeah, but maybe, I don't know. Maybe, I don't know. Or is this a test? This is a test. Anyways, it's no. 
Like they're testing to see if you're lying into the app. Like a, a lie or if detector. you didn't reset your yeah, yeah. thing. It'll say like, well, it should be less than five, <laughs> you idiots. <laughs> Go back and set the game up properly. <laughs> well, aren't you two the fun couple? Gribbert looked at his friends with a face that suggested otherwise. We wish you well, but we are neither adept at fixing wagon wheels or negotiating with snakes. Yes, yes, of course. Vagabond Jones sighed wearily. Listen, we were part of a caravan. Should you run into them on the road, would you be so kind to a stranger as to let them know of our predicament? Flicker gave a polite bow. You can count on us! As they walked away, they heard Jones speak in a lower voice to the woman. What an odd group, eh? I can't say how, but there's something strange about them. His companion was less quiet. Shut up, Jones! Write stranded minstrels on the campaign journal. Follow, the, follow a travel route on the campaign travel map that leads to a new location. Oh, this is different. So we get choice, like, like, like anywhere we can connect to again. So let's see. Uh, so we could choose to go to Gretchen's farm or Border Farms, right? That's only two? Uh, yes. Okay. Do you want me to leave it up? Uh, yeah, just, whoops. Uh, yeah. What is it? Uh, Gretchen's? Gretchen's farm. Or border farm. Border farm, like that? Mm-hmm. Okay. So which way should we go? Gretchen's farm or border farm? Let me see. Oh, yeah. So it looks like even if we go to Gretchen's farm, we could have gone where the East Road would have led us. Maybe, maybe, unless it tells us we can't after. Or we could still go to Border Farms, or we go to Border Farms, which still lets you go back to Gretchen's Farm. So if it seems this lets us choose again. Yeah, it may direct us. That's true. It may be one of those ones where, like, you get to choose, and you can only go to so many places and try to gather things based on information you're given, but you'll have to pass on something. So yeah. we'll see. Or you can get it all done, but slowly misfortune is going up, and discomfort and all that kind of stuff. So it's like it's up to you what you want to do in your own game, which is cool. Uh, nothing wrong with that. I think it's neat. Okay, let's close the poll. Uh, Gretchen. Gretchen's, which is what number? 329. 329. You're drawing a little path. Mm -hmm. The familiars happened upon a farm whose fields were flush with thriving crops, yet whose buildings were run down and ill-kept. As they drew nearer, they too saw signs of neglect among the produce. Weeds in the fields. Oh. Animals have been nibbling the lettuce, and I, I see crops that should have been harvested already. I think this place might be abandoned. Gribbert looked at the others. What do you say? Shall we gather some supplies? Maybe we can pulp some fruit for the wee one? We should have asked Marilius for her name. Flicker sighed. <sighs> We shouldn't be calling a princess the wee one, should we? Shh! Blaze shushed the fairy, her foxy face deadly earnest. Do not say the p-word again, no matter how alone you may think we are. Gribbert nodded. Oh, good thinking, Red. Come on, everyone. Let's have a look-see. They wandered the fields, looking for ideal fruits. But when Chalk thumped over to some promising raspberry bushes, a frightful squawk broke the silence. Ow. A disheveled creature leaped from a bush near the golem, and running a little ways, hid itself beneath the bowers of a large holly that sat nearby. The four familiars approached cautiously. Hello there. <laughs> Gribbert gave a friendly wave in case that might help. We're sorry if we gave you a fright. We're just looking for some food to eat. Hello? And from beneath the bush crawled a dirty-looking human boy child, who stared at the familiars in fright, clutching carrots to his chest. Chalk leaned over and offered the lad a carrot he had left behind. Mm -hmm. And this made the child smile. Flicker patted the boy on the head. Do you live nearby? He pointed to the nearby farmhouse. Ah, I see. Is your family there? The boy nodded that they were. Marvelous! Do you think we could visit and say hello? The boy looked at each of them thoughtfully and took a bite of carrot. He must have decided they weren't too bad, for he gave a slight smile and waved for them to follow. As they neared the house, other children appeared, 
a couple protectively wielding pitchforks. A young woman, almost a child herself, stormed out of the house wielding a rolling pin. All told, about a dozen children surrounded the familiars, some holding hoes and one girl carrying a scythe. Whoa, easy! Gribbert lifted his hands to show that he was not a threat. Madam, we apologize for the intrusion. We are but humble travelers seeking sustenance on a sufferingly long sojourn. Is discontent at four or five? No. It's at zero. Before you click that, Tim, thank oh, you yes, so, Tim. so much, Tim. Thank you for becoming a producer. Thanks for clicking the join button. Thank you for supporting the channel. Much appreciated. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Jake, sweetie, come on back inside where it's safe, said the young woman. And the boy with the carrots ran inside the farmhouse. She looked at them angrily and waved her rolling pin. What do you lot want? We got nothing of value here except food, and that's sworn to the crown on account of the war. The soldier stationed here will be returning any minute, so I suggest you run off. Dear madame, we apologize for the intrusion. We only hope for some food, if not for us, then for this precious babe. Truth be told, we thought your farm had been abandoned. Is Kids with Fish and Berries written on the campaign journal? No. Choose a familiar to make a focus test, difficulty seven. Now see, when this kind of stuff happens, now we're playing with separate decks, or we're playing like a four-player version of the game, uh, this is the good stuff. This is when you want, like, you know, maybe you have an item or something, or a character has, um, not at this point in the story, but has the um, mark of devotion, right, to help, but you look at your hand, and you don't have that character's cards for their deck, you're holding cards for the other deck, you know? So, well... Flicker can do... Flicker's the one. Six, I can... What is it? Seven? I can do an eight. I can do a... Do you have bonuses on pack. items? What's this one? Oh, communicating with boggies. That's different, yeah. That's nothing else. But I can do three, six... Yeah, it's definitely Flicker. Three, six, seven, eight, nine. And oh. nine would be would pass for sure. I have links, but it's only well, not, for I don't, one. Yeah, hopefully I'll get to draw back up. But let's do nah. that. I'll do nine because that's an automatic pass. Yeah, I have. Okay, let's not. Power and I pass. So you take it. Power. Stuff. I have five. I'm at my max. I think. Yeah, I'm at my max. Wow, spend it. I, there's no cards to spend it on. Oh no! That's give, what I, give some away. That's why I did that last time with him, where I just bought this. Just yeah, to pull. I'll try to buy. Yeah, I'll try to buy the bond card out of here, and we'll try to get some of her cards going. Yeah, that's okay. Uh, and then this card is still left in my hand, so we'll put that there so I don't have to confuse it. There was a sweet laugh from the bundle in Chalk's arms, and the baby raised a tiny hand. The children gasped and lowered their weapons, and craned their necks to get a peek at the wee one. The young woman walked forward, which made Chalk nervous, but Blaze patted the golem with her tail. The woman peered at the swaddled babe and gave a nod. The baby, seeing the new face, grew quiet and gave a pleasant giggle. I have a way with babies. May I? She scooped the baby from Chalk's arms and walked toward the house. Poor little thing looks hungry. Come on, you lot. We'll get y'all fed. This content is already zero. It did tell us to reset all our boards, right? Yeah, but maybe it's because we saved. Maybe if you kept playing, it would continue. But I think at the end of every chapter, it's supposed to reset it all, right? Yeah, it's just weird that it's giving us all these. Uh, I don't know. Okay. Well, we can do anything. Oh, like you know that. why it's doing this? Because we could have gone a different way right. and, and gotten a fight and had things happen. You're right. Yeah, you yeah. It's because we could have gone multiple paths. Yeah, you're right. Duh. <laughs> you are right. I'll wake up soon. All right. Uh, you may ask questions of the girl while she feeds the baby. Um, but time is of the essence. Choose any number of options below in any order. Each option below can only be chosen once. When you've chosen as many options as you want to, Choose finished with questions. So this will be the same situation where we won't be able to choose them all. It'll kick us out. Yeah. So we can ask them, where are your parents? We can ask, do many strangers come by this farm? Or we can say, how do we get to Dominholt from here? Which I want to ask that one. Are there any dangers nearby we should know about? I mean, that's that could question. be helpful. Or do you have anything to trade? Oh, that's a good question too. All right. I'll, I'm going to pick one. Then you can pick one, but I'm okay. picking this one. Okay. You just follow the main road, I guess. That's what I've heard, at least. None of us have ever been to the city, though Useless. no one can go now. 
My father says the city has closed its gates and won't let anyone in except soldiers. My father says if the king were alive, he would never have done such a thing. Hmm. So we got to pretend we're soldiers, find soldier clothing. Okay, I think we need to ask about the danger. And then we can have... Okay, ask about the danger. There's brigands on the road with no honor at all. And they rob and pillage as they desire. They dress like soldiers of Principalia. But either they're deserters or murderers who stole the armor. Because they do not serve the country as they ought. Mm -hmm. Find them. Yeah, and take, take their, their, take their, their armor. And sneak in the city. All right. Oh, we can still keep going. Um, we trade, yeah. yeah. <laughs> do you have anything to trade? Maybe we do. What do you got? Each familiar may trade a forage token oh. they have for one from the supply. Okay. So looking at Flickr. I'm going to look at items here and see what we need to grab. This is cool. So yeah. who's this one you need to take for the Foxy guy to improve his little vicious bite. So does Foxy guy have any tokens? Just a plant. I, I'll, just take, I can take, uh, I'll take a wood. I'll trade it for a wood because I can take a cloth or food when I do anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So let's do... And then you can get it and get that item. Take a wood. And this also is for him, this uh, battle harness. So maybe somebody else can buy that for him. So but we I'll need another trade. cloth. So we trade for her, like something I'll not a gem. Plant. I'll trade, trade the plant for a cloth here. So I've done mine. Uh, I will take this plant for a cloth, if there's one left. Mm-hmm. And this one doesn't matter if I'm just using any resources for this uh, item. So I'll just hold these that are different than what you guys keep grabbing. So we don't use them all up if we get a chance to get them off pages. Unless you want food or a cloth for the baby for discontent. How much cloth is left? Uh, two. Oh, okay. That's up to you. But he's good with that. And yeah. he, he's with the baby. It's fine, actually, because he can... Uh, sure. Cloth and food. But there is this magic milk, actually. You may discard this card on your turn while sharing a space with the baby to reduce discontent by two. Oh, so then you should just take yeah, two take mushrooms. Yeah, take two mushrooms. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We oh. already had... Yeah. I know, yeah. it doesn't matter. Yeah, yeah. I, I should try to... That's for, better. But I should do that for him, but, like, whatever. We can trade it or something. Yeah, all right. Okay. That's cool. Okay. Oh, we can still keep going. Well, no, because we they probably, finished. I don't care about where their parents are. Uh, yeah, let's just stay finished. Yeah, Maybe that'll yeah. help us. Because it knows how many we clicked on. The familiars bid the children farewell. The magic of Marilius caused the young hosts to not think the familiars strange. Yet the children were drawn to their guests in a way they could not explain. <laughs> Chalk disentangled itself from a boy hugging a massive leg of stone. Flicker waved goodbye. If we can send help, we shall. And if we should meet your parents on our journey, we will deliver your gift. Thanks again for helping us care for our baby. So we probably could have learned where their parents might have been. Go there, find their parents, oh. help send them back, which still could happen. Maybe we'll just run into them magically. Y yeah, yeah. But it's like, I bet there was like a side quest kind of thing going on there. Uh, all right. All players draw back up. I think only she used uh, Yeah. Let me check. Yeah, I'm good. One, two, three. Four. Follow the travel route along the campaign that leads to a new location. Fill in the bubble of that location. Enter its code below. Okay. So from here, we could go to a few different places. Okay, so let me East Road, one sec. Yep. East Road. Uh, border Farm. Mm -hmm. Or... Founders Field. Founders Field. Okay, where do you guys want us to go? And Buell says, your master did recommend helping the farmers out. Okay. So if we should go to border farms, probably right, because those aren't those weren't the farmers; those were like kids hanging out at a farm, right? Yes. And whose parents are the farmers who are gone because they thought the farm was abandoned because of what was going on. So maybe we, the parents are who we need to help out, which are their parents. Which to get them back, maybe that's what you're getting at, right, Buell? That's what you mean? Or is that the border farms, the farmers that, that we're supposed to be helping? Because there's multiple farms, right? So who knows? 
Yeah, or did they or, go on the those, East Road and they're stuck or yeah, they're those guys, trapped or they're captured? Yeah, but those guys roaming around in soldier clothing are maybe on the East Road and we can go help them who are, yeah, like you say, capture the parents or whatever. Yeah, and we need, we need that clothing to get into the gate. Yeah, we'll see. Well, that's what I think. That's what we think. Yes, yeah, all, all of it. it. <laughs> all right, fuel. Let's do all of it. <laughs> all right, man. Let's go with the the option of oh, border farms. Border thirty-seven farms. percent. What is that? Border farms is three three zero. Jonathan's here. Hey, all. It's been a long time. Sorry for my absence. How heavy is this game? Uh, apology accepted. No need to apologize. <laughs> you greeted us when you came in and then threw your question at us, so that's kind of okay. Uh, <laughs> you're, just, you're just here for business. Uh, let's see. <laughs> uh, it's a 2.86 weight. What I would say is it's a family game, but you should have one gamer at the table, one adult gamer, but it's 8 plus, so it is meant to have 8 year old children playing. But I saw the um, publisher even say uh, they wouldn't recommend a bunch of eight year olds sit around the table and play, but you need at least one adult gamer at the table to help run the game, making sure everything's going good. The rules are not super straightforward and simple, but you could definitely, the kids can figure out how to choose symbols and play cards and stuff like that. Um, so, yeah. But it's, it's heavier than you would think for a game that looks like with that cover and looks like with all the art and the graphic design and like the Disney theme and the voice acting in the app and stuff. Um, but yeah, there you go. Hopefully that helps. Yeah, it's, it, it's, it is fun. It is fun. I like it. But I recommend try to play it with higher player count or just play with um, don't follow the recommended rules. If you're running multiple familiars, play with separate decks for each familiar like separate it so they can get strong and focused their decks can be focused in this deck building game on their strengths and their items will fire more often and stuff like that so it's like but if you really want a challenge and you're just like a hardcore gamer and playing like with your wife or playing by yourself yeah play one one handed for a super challenge you know like a more challenging game um but it's up to you i'll just that's my tips there you go jess it is possible to play it solo yes I mean, I don't think I would recommend playing it solo one-handed, though. Yeah, just... I don't uh, think you'll have fun. Uh, Edgar said, supposedly on the Board Game Geek forums, the designer of this game says, yes, the solo is super difficult when you play with the recommended solo mode that's in the game of running one hand of cards for four familiars, because you have to play with all familiars at once. The game doesn't work without it, I guess, unless you start ver modifying things. But he says he has played through it, and he was able to beat it, but barely, or, or it's doable is the word that was thrown around. It's very challenging, but doable. But again, an eight-year-old should not be playing it solo, even though it says for eight plus and can be played one player. That's the trick. It should be plastered all over this thing that if you play multiple familiars, the game will be more challenging. If you play multiple familiars per player, it'll be more challenging. And lower player counts, if you're following those rules, will be more challenging. And... Yeah, if you're playing, you should have a adult gamer at the table, at least one playing um, is a requirement I would recommend. There you go. But yeah. But yeah, the story is definitely cool. The adventure is definitely cool. Uh, but yeah, all right, let's go to. Why is that 301? Did I type it in wrong? Oh, sorry, yeah. 330. Uh, where are we? Border Farms? Yeah, 330. Uh, I don't but know. Maybe that is right, though. Yeah, because remember the... Uh, oh, no. Well, that's a new entry. We haven't read this. I know we haven't. It's right. Okay, it's Edgar says it's right. Okay, I just saw at the top, I saw 301. I'm like, that's not where we're yeah, supposed to be. Yeah, it's probably just a typo. But just continue. Okay, thank you. Sorry. Thank you, Edgar. <laughs> just panic. The familiars followed the main road, which veered west. The columns of smoke on the horizon drew nearer, and they gradually began to see more signs of conflict in the area. They passed many refugees as well, though all of them were headed in the opposite direction, away from Domenholt. There were a few polite nods here and there, but no one seemed to pay the familiars any mind. After half an hour of walking, they came to a section of road blocked by a seemingly confused herd of cows. 
Ribber put his webbed hands on his hips. I say, what are you cows doing? Ooh, frog. A cow near him nodded politely as she chewed her cud. Our humans let us out and shoot us away from the coming war. But we don't know where to go. We're just dumb cows. Flicker clucked her tongue. Oh, come now. Don't be so hard on yourselves. Oh, don't fret, dearie. We know who we are, and we're okay with it. Another cow nodded in agreement. It's true. We're real bozos, but that's ideal for cows. Gribbert giggled. Well, you bozos should head east. That'll take you from the worst of the fighting. They had to show the cows the direction of east, but soon the road cleared and the familiars could continue. A short while later, they came upon a farmstead. It consisted of a barn, or stable, and a collection of low buildings. They didn't see any people, so they cautiously approached. It's content plus one. Turn to page 19 in the book. It was hard to understand those cows. Yeah, they were. <laughs> I looked in the voice credits. I don't see who's credited for voicing the cow. <laughs> I feel let down. <laughs> I want to know who does the cow voice act. <laughs> yeah, that was hard to understand. Uh, and also, our earbuds aren't the best, so it's definitely more bassy. Uh, 19, 19, right? Yep. Oh, look at this. A little board or farm. This is cool. Oh, my goodness. There is dead people. Are they dead or are they just sick? Well, there's blood. Yeah, but they're just wounded, I think. Okay, maybe they're not they're dead. They're on beds. They look like they could be dead. Well, let's go loot them. I mean, <laughs> make sure they're okay, I should say. Can you read to me the starting setup? I cannot see that. Uh, starting Sorry. setup. Place the bebe and familiars on the starting flag space. Place door tokens, which are those double border tokens we were using <laughs> before. <laughs> After rereading the rule book, looking over at everything again, knowing what we know now. They, they worked for what we were doing, though. I know. Those are known as door tokens. <laughs> uh, door tokens, put them on the doors next to each of the gear one symbols. Gear one. So there's a gear two. There's gear one. Oh. Uh, I guess, like, is there more gear ones? Gear one. Okay, so the doors are closed, I guess. Okay. Generate an encounter of three unsavory. Oh, these guys again. So look for the enemy spaces. I see one here. So there's only one enemy space. So put all three on there. There was order again. Circle, square. Doesn't matter. Just, oh, I see. Oh, yeah. You got to go from top to bottom, right? Because there's only three. Circle, square, and this one. Okay. And sorry, you saw one space or two? Right oh, here. Only one. Okay. So they're all in here. Okay. Looks like we have some food, mushroom, gems, cloth, two cloth. So cloth seems abundant, which we may need to make bandages or something for oh, these guys. Oh, smart. Maybe that's what they're doing. I don't know. Help the sick people. Maybe. Uh, all right. So this says continue with the next miller's turn. Uh, the doors. So the gear one spaces. Doors. To open the door, discard a skill card and remove the door token. Oh. Okay. Anyone. Okay. Blaze and Gilbert are not tall enough to open the door. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> Unless another familiar shares the space so oh, that they can get... Them. No, but it does say, so that they can get a boost up to the <laughs> handle. <laughs> that is so awesome. So number two... There's a two here. No, number two gear oh, yeah, is one. warmth. A familiar on this space doubles the number of life gained when playing cards uh, with the heal icon. So it's just a, like a fire there. Like, yeah, oh, it's like it's a blacksmith a, yeah. thing, right? A hearth or whatever. Uh, the first time the baby is moved on the space, discontent minus two. If you have healing herbs written on the campaign journal, no. a familiar on the space may attempt to make a healing tea. This requires an insight skill test difficulty five. Mm -hmm. If you pass power plus one, write healing tea on the campaign journal. We don't have healing tea, so we can't do that. Well, damn it. How do we get the healing tea? Maybe somewhere else in here we'll find the healing tea. Yeah, I don't know. Okay. Maybe from one of these story things. Uh, exclamation point. If you have healing tea written on the campaign journal, discard the exclamation point from the space. If there are now no more exclamation tokens on the map, enter 309. If you have bandage written on the... Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. If you have bandage written on the campaign journal, you may spend one cloth to discard the exclamation token from the space. If there are now no more exclamation tokens on the map, enter 310 in the app. Okay, that makes sense. So there's two ways to heal. We could go the healing tea route or the bandage route because the way the exclamation points work and clearing them. Uh, then the exit says, if there's no enemies on the space, at the end of a familiar's turn, all familiars and the baby 
are on the space, you may leave the location instead of pressing end in the app. Upon leaving, enter 335. When leaving, misfortune plus one for each wounded farmer that hasn't been healed. Oh no. There are three wounded farmers in total, which is awesome to finally see something different than enemies on the map. Yeah, so the enemies don't matter, but we probably want to kill them just for, for convenience loot. and loot. Or energy. Yeah. Or power, whatever. Uh, and then counter the unsavory, I have two move, five melee, four ranged, five defense, their size medium. If brutal, if an attack from an unsavory is, isn't successfully defended, the target becomes badly injured. Okay. Okay. Wow. So we take any damage from them, they badly injure us. That's annoying. Uh, Tim says, my family has played Hogwarts Battles with expansions. Has anyone played that as well to give a comparison? That's the deck is that the builder, deck building game? Is that the Harry Potter deck builder game? Which I still want to play. Or is that something, is that like <laughs> a playing out of a, is a Harry Potter playing out of a map book kind of game? I'm not sure. I, I don't know, Tim. I'm not sure. We've not played that. The only Harry Potter game we played was the Funkoverse, like, competitive game of Harry Potter. But I do want to play the deck builder one day in my life. Yeah, yeah. We have that on our wish list to yeah. buy Oh, eventually. yes, it is. Okay, yeah. We have not played that, unfortunately. But no. We do want to. We do want to, and I like it. it has a campaign in it when I went to look into it. We were recommended that one over the years. People keep saying, go check it out. Mm -hmm. One day we'll get it and play it on the channel. Yeah, so we can't compare, but maybe somebody in the chat who's played both can. Yeah. Or has played that game. But it's a really popular game. Lots of people have played it, so. Mm -hmm. But that's a deck builder, like, pure deck builder, I think, right? I don't think it has a whole storybook and an app and voice acting and all that, but. Jackpot Man says HP Hogwarts Battle is much simpler than this. If you have comments about that, you know, let us know in the chat. It helped him out, but yeah, that's cool. All right. So we've okay. finished the instructions. Page and... goal. Help the wounded farmers, then get all familiars and the baby to the exit space and leave this location. If, if all wounded farmers are not healed when you leave, there'll be a penalty. And it's Grit. Okay. Grit. Who has a fatigue. Where's the circle in this one? Okay, so literally we can't do any kind of range unless you're in this base. I think on these guys. So there's a wounded farmer in here. There's a wounded farmer here and here. Okay. Story entry, story entry. There is stuff on the counter here, which I think we can go in here and maybe this is where the food's gathered. Or just four, so it's a four test. Okay. And I assume that these little story entries are going to tell us and give us the healing teas and the exclamation yeah. points and all of that. Okay. Cool. Cool, cool. And there's a 307 story down here, so there's something to do with here. And then also we want to heal the baby probably at some point. Uh, yeah, or, right now, or please the baby. I could on my turn, because now I haven't had been able to do it because the baby's been so discontented. But... If it stays like that, when making a skill test as a care action, reduce the difficulty by two. So I can do a four and bring it down to zero. And the baby will be super happy. But we'll see. I think we need to play this one more sneaky and not worry about the enemies. Because getting in fights with the enemies is like, these guys are pretty rough. Yep. And they're high health, right? So it's yep. going to take forever. I agree. So I say we just run. And that's why I think they put them so they're out of range. So like you have to go start doing other stuff. So then they'll kind of wander around. we got to kind of like sneak and bait them and stuff. Mm -hmm. And just somebody, somebody maybe distracts them and takes hits and just defends the whole time, but doesn't do much on their turn, you know? Yep. Which, again, is more fun to do when you actually play separate hands with the characters, so you don't... Yeah, you have more options. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, so, Gribbert doesn't have his leap card. I wish he did. But, I uh... I could move one, two, throw a card away, open this door. He's too small. Oh, you yeah. So I can just you can go in, I can go in here, right? Yeah, you can go in that one. And that's one dot, two dot, three away. Four to get the story going. Okay. And then there'll probably be some kind of test that I'll, of course, throw away the wrong cards for. Um, yeah, let's go with... Yeah, I think we will have to fight... Eventually, so chalk would be good because I could gonna... chalk in two shot two of them, the fours like into attack. Oh yeah, true. And they do have less defense, right? Of only five, so yeah. we probably can do that. Which true, is true. Good. Okay. But we can let them kind of come to us the first turn. Okay, I'm gonna leave the baby turn. there. One, two, three, four. Playing these two cards for four movement, and I'm going to three o six. The barn doors creaked open, and the familiars could at once smell the odors of livestock. 
but as their eyes adjusted to the gloom, they made out the shapes of humans lying in the straw. One of the women saw them and tried to stand, but was unable. Mercy! Take mercy on us! We are but simple farmers trying to defend our land! Grivert raised his hands. We bear you no ill will, gentle farmers. The woman stared at them and squinched up her eyes. Who are you? There's something odd about you. Flicker laughed nervously. We are weary travelers on our way to Dilmenholt. We saw the farm and hoped we might bargain for provisions. Talk to Darby. And the woman waved at the doorway they stood in. He's in the main house. If there's anything to spare, he'll know. He took our germs. <laughs> he took our germs. That didn't even help at all. Okay. But no, she said some stuff. I know, but it, I thought it was going to start the party yeah, yeah. on letting us heal them. But go, no. go to this place, get my healing tea. <laughs> you got to go talk to Darby, who's in here. <laughs> Where's Darby? I think in this one. That's Darby. Okay, let's check Main it out. house. So this is all a dead end in here. Yeah, you got to come back out. Well, let's get out of here then. <laughs> okay, I will just. One, two, three, four. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I'll hold this fatigue, I guess. Not play it yet. Uh, okay, so these will be discarded. And draw one, two, three, four at the end of my turn. I don't think I had any symbols that did anything. Nope. Okay. Uh, let's end turn. Blaze. Blaze. Blaze's turn. So Blaze can open the door. Let's see what we got. Oh, we got some fatigues happening. No. All right. Yeah, but just get rid of it. Like I know. We won't have to take a lot of it probably till the... Maybe this scenario even, trying to like run and get things done. Might, we might want to do it to be quicker, but I feel like boss fight times when we gain all the fatigue, but... It's true. Okay, so... One, two, I need. So sorry, let's spend just a rest. Let's go this way. All right, now I have to just discard any, open the door. I just need to discard any card. So danger up one. And then we'll be able to open this door. And then I only need one movement, so I might as well do danger again. Just to move in here, and we'll do 305. No response came from knocking on the door. Flicker shrugged and hovered up to the door handle and turned it. Inside, the house was dark, but the smell was off. Hold it right there! A masculine voice bellowed at them, and turning, the familiar saw a middle-aged peasant man with a grievous wound pointing a sword at them. Blaze growled and her ears flattened. Sword! She jumped in front of the others. The man wavered a bit, grimacing in pain. Now, now, Foxy. Flicker lifted herself up above her friend and addressed the old man. So sorry for the intrusion, my friend. We thought this place was abandoned. We'll be on our way. The man looked at them in confusion. There's... Something odd about you lot. What is it? He staggered, almost collapsing to the ground, and the familiars rushed over and helped him keep steady. They settled him down on an old straw pallet in the corner and got him a drink of water. He thanked them, then told them he was a local farmer who had banded with his neighbors to repel any invaders. We ain't soldiers and it shows. I'm hurt, but there are those who got it worse in the barn. No healing herbs yet, right? No, but in the barn is the parents. Based on what he just oh, said. Oh, okay, okay. Flicker shook her head. I am sorry, farmer, but we have nothing to offer in way of aid. We were hoping to find aid here ourselves. The man grunted in amusement at that. Bad news, travelers. Enemy forces are assaulting us, and we are but simple farmers. I'm afraid we do not have much longer left. We gathered our children together at one of the nearby farms, hoping to keep them safe. But if we fail here, they will be in grave peril. Gribbert patted the farmer. Perhaps we can help. You? How? You're... How do I say it? You're... Most of you are quite wee. 
Blaze growled in delight. <laughs> we, yes, but fierce, too. We Right bandage on the campaign journal. Place an exclamation token on each of the spaces with an injured farmer. Yeah. Uh, oh, look, it's reminding us what injured farmers are. See? See? It's telling you where oh, to okay. put them, so that's helpful. Oh, okay, sure, that's cool. Okay, are there enemies in play? Unfortunately, oh, yeah. yes. Place a token over the story symbol on the space. Continue your turn. Okay. So, what can I do now? What can I do now? Forge is forge. Thank you, Tobold. Hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Hello. See you later. <laughs> okay. Hmm. So I can't heal them because we don't have the healing tea and I don't have any cloth. I spend one material to discard. So now I wish I took cloth instead of wood. I'd be able to heal him. But I can do a forge. forge. I might as well just try. Let's do two. I'll take a fatigue to my discard, drawing a card. I'll do four to four on the mushroom. You don't need mushrooms, right? Because then I can take- I like mushrooms, but I don't need them. Okay. They are good. Not as good as pineapple on pizza, but they're good on pizza too. <laughs> I know, Yogi is already putting the pineapple pizza emoji this morning. Yeah, buddy. Okay, four to four. So pizza for dinner. Uh, we have leftovers. Damn it. But we can eat the leftovers yeah, yeah. tomorrow if you want. It's okay. Uh, do I need a chain? Now we have more options to help each other. And we won't necessarily have to go back in this room. Uh, yeah, I'll put a chain in from an assist of two. You, you want some help? No, I got it. I got it. Are now, you sure? Now I'm above. I'm at six out of four. Danger. Uh, but I did get it. And each time he gains a resource as a result of a forge action, she can choose to either gain food or cloth. I'll gain cloth. Yeah, I got tweets in hand, so I can probably grab uh, like one that's far away that we don't need to go to. Oh, beautiful. Yeah, I'll just, oh, I'll just send the bird to go get this one. The mushroom. Okay. But the and problem then... is if we have too much cloth in our possession, so... Well, I'm it... going to spend it right now in the space. Did you do the blaze thing to get his equipment yet? I didn't have. Oh. I, I only had one item. Oh, I see. You're I got to do some trade and yeah, stuff yeah. later, but... But clear, clear out some stuff to get it back in the pool. Okay. If you have bandage, you may spend one cloth to discard this token. Sorry. And then I think we got a token tray and put oh, it like yeah. sideways even. Yes, yeah, so we yeah. can see how much is in there. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I can't actually see it like that. Sorry. I got to do so I can see the symbols. Do whatever you want. Um, I want to discard a token from the space. If there's now no more. What do you no, want? Nope, that's it. I just, because I just discarded that. I just want to see when we had to read. Yeah, you can even see like in the background on, yeah, on the do. art, like food. <laughs> yeah, but you see the symbol right here too. Yeah, but not when it's side. But I like, I like the way they even made it like all match inside. So like each basket's different. So you could get used to like just looking at an angle and kind of know like which basket it's in because they're all completely different art and material, which is cool. Yeah. Yeah, I really like this thing. It's fun. I like, yeah. I like the table presence on it. But even like other players behind at the table, like they put so much thought into certain things in this game. But again, the rules and the variance, player variance, just needed some more playtesting and effort. But everything else, like, man. Game's nice on the table, for sure. Okay, so I got rid of one. And then that will be the end of Blaze's turn. One, two, three, four, five. All right. End turn. But we have some high danger, so... Whatever. Bring them on. Discontent, four or five? No. Discontent plus one. Are there enemies in play? Yes. Enemy turn. Let's see what this is. Follow the steps in the order. Move. Move each unsavory that does not already share a space of familiar or the bebe. Up to two move points towards the nearest familiar or bebe. Oh, that's a problem. One, two. I thought that might one, happen. Uh-oh. One, two. I should not have gone so close. Okay. Uh, range attack. No. Resolve okay. a range attack with each unsavory that does not share a space. Nope. Melee attack. Resolve a melee attack with each unsavory that, that shares a space with one or more familiars. Let's see if we have some chain Oh, whoopsie. Cards. I have some chain cards if you need, so. You have plus one with the leaf cloak. They're hitting for five. 
Yeah. Okay. Chain here. Uh, this is my deck. Uh, I have one defense, two assist on Jock over here. So let's do it like this. Um, I got to defend harder on the first one so I don't become badly wounded to get extra damage on the next ones. But uh, three attacks is going to be pretty harsh. I have one chain I can give you. That's all. Sorry. Okay. So I'm going to defend for two, three, four, five for my Leaf Cloak. Five. Uh, for this ability on my Leaf Cloak, I can acquire a Fatigue and draw an extra card. So that should help. I'll, I'll play this one on the next defense to heal. Um, okay, so I'm defending for five with two reroll possibilities. And I block it, but danger does go up, which is good. So, um, yeah, that's it there. Okay, these are all discarded. The second attack of five. I didn't lose health. So I, that's okay. Okay. Um, so how do I do this? I can defend here. This will make danger. Like, I might get a second attack, like, right away. That's the problem. Without even being able to get away. Somebody will be able to get in your space, Chalk. Because Chalk will have a turn. Oh, yeah, that's Before true. Yeah, off. okay. So Chalk will throw an assist in there, which I should keep separate. Okay. okay. I'll put that in for And this is, uh, I'm defending for five. And you're putting in one? Not yet, I'll put in one. Okay, I'm defending for five. Roll the die. Minus one. So I do get hit for one. I'm now uh, badly wounded. But it'll go away when I heal, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so... One is one is not... Yeah. yeah. This one goes over here. This one goes... These go here. Okay. This will go through discard, sorry. Oh, I thought that's where it was. No, yeah. that's okay. Yeah, Gotta that's get the used problem. To the two managing I know, I know. Hands. Managing two decks, like, even though it's so simple and anyone can do it, it's like just organizational, trying to make sure everything's clean and where it goes and keep it on screen is like annoying. Um, okay, so I'll defend a two right now. This I'll is going to heal me one. I'll put one in for you. Okay, so I'm defending for three total. Oh, badly wounded goes away, but I'm getting hit now for four because I really only blocked for one. And I'm badly wounded. Um, I'm down to two. So if I get hit one more time, he's toast. Okay. That is his whole turn done. Or his next turn will be completely done. Because he was in the space of the enemy. But let's read what else these guys are doing. They probably want to steal the baby. Mm. Uh, now they're going to move again. Um, move each unsavory that does not already have a share a space of the familiar baby one point towards the nearest familiar baby. Capture if one or more in savory share a space of the baby and no familiars move one. Okay, the same thing as before. Next player's turn. Chalk, who had to spend one card to help out his frog buddy, uh, is going to go now. And the enemies are closer at least, but to move there, I would definitely weaken my attack. But I think I still do it. I could get reckless with it. Should I though? I can move there. And then I still have six, seven, Eight. Oh, that's a success. Yeah, that's more than enough, right? Yeah. Okay, so I'll move with Reckless for two. And I'll bring the baby. One, two. Brr. Okay. And then I will attack uh, doing a might test of two, three, or sorry, two, four, six, nine, eight. <laughs> okay, nine. Nine is your total. Right? No, it's, it, it <laughs> might be. Hold on. <laughs> Where's your coffee? Where's your coffee? <laughs> I know. I'm still pumping it in me and not fast enough. I know. I just finished mine. <laughs> I tell you, this game's made for children. And I can't even play it. Two plus two. Two plus two <laughs> plus two is six. Plus one for each mountain is eight. Yes. So Which is more than enough. Eight, but we're still rolling. Whoops. And we're doing it against a five defense. You have a re-roll in there? No. Nope. Holy Damn. danger. Yeah. All right. Uh, so I definitely hit one for two. Let's do this guy. The square based one. Sure. Um, 
Okay. And we... Oh yeah, don't forget you still have this ability with uh, Flicker. If her power's at five, you just want to spend it to get a card out of her deck that you feel is like kind of a like I useless can get card. These out without... No, no, read the card. I thought that too. You'd be able to trash fatigue cards, oh. but you're not allowed. It's literally to thin your deck out and keep the powerful cards growing as you go and get rid of like the starter cards. Yeah. Or to tweak your play style. If you're like, ah, I don't need these movement cards ever for this character because they're always fighting range. Let's keep all the high agility cards, get rid of the movement. Who cares? Yeah. Or you have like a leap card that leaps across the board. You want to see it more often, you know, thin it out. All right. Uh, so I'm ending turn. Is danger discontent? See how fast they're activating because of the great. dangers? Uh, no. Okay. Plus one. Enemies in play. Okay. Yep. Wow. Uh, oh, yeah. I should draw back up. Oh, yeah, I didn't do the tweets thing. Whoops. Um, That's okay, you need it. We can do it again I know. in a bit. I think we need to worry about these enemies now. I know, but still. Uh, okay, so move them. They're in the space. Now melee attacks, so we can pick. Obviously, I don't want the frog to get hit, but he's got a hint of cards, I think I drew. No, I he didn't. He doesn't have. He, he defended Oh, all yeah, them. yeah. So he can't defend. Oh, no. this is bad. No. So if, if I, I take all three hits with Chalk and he's in trouble, then I literally have nothing. And if they go again very fast, uh, I'm, we're in big trouble. So I, I don't know. We need to take out one of these guys as fast as possible. So, mm -hmm. uh, all right. So unfortunately, the problem is you get in this fatigue loop because yeah. I need the defense. But uh, I'll play that. I'll gain a fatigue. Draw a card. Oh, another fatigue entry into. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's go. Test of five, so that's one. I don't have any chains. Let's just defend on this one for um, four. This is the problem. How am I going to use him to kill them if I'm taking so many hits? Because then I won't have enough in hand to fight them back. I might be able to do two range hits. Oh, okay. But I'll have to move, I think. Uh, have to look at where the yeah, we're going to get stuck in a loop here. I see it already. Because I, I have to take all three hits with the same character, so we won't be able to hit back. Which then will create lots of danger because of the fatigues. And Unless then... you let the frog take the last hit and just die. I don't want to. Okay. I want to play it like you should play it. Yeah, okay, you have to roll that and see if you get a hit. Yeah, I'll defend for four. Danger, of course. Like, just give me anything. Like, minuses even. Dangers are on. This I know it's just that it's Two, just it's crazy. Three, three. Uh, so I take one, I'll become badly wounded. So I take double damage now, or, or one extra. How's one it? How's extra, it work? I think one, um, one additional life. Yeah, if you lose one or more life, you take one additional life. Okay, it's not double damage. I see. Okay, so I'll defend again. Uh, I'll just defend for one. You'll heal the badly injured? Y yeah. Which is good in case. Okay. Danger for real? Oh my god. Okay, so I lose four. And wow. now you're badly injured again. Okay, and then... Uh, Hmm. I'll defend for four. Yeah, this is this is fun. That one you have a reroll. That one you have a reroll. Oh, nice. Okay, great. Let me just reroll the danger again. Yep. Wow. Hey, any other result would be kind of cool. There's three, three, <laughs> three sides. Yeah. Three out of twelve. Wow. I'm I'm good. Wow. Okay. Uh. So anything else here? No. Right. Sorry. How much damage did that give you? Oh yeah. One? Sorry. Uh. You defended for yeah. Me. One. But I'm badly injured, so I take two. So he's down to two also. So we're in kind of a tight pickle here. All right. Let's see what I can do here. Yeah, we're supposed to avoid the enemies hardcore in this one. You can tell. But I made the mistake. But they would have moved. I should have never I... moved the no. But I should never move the frog that far because then he would have been able to attack from a distance. Oh, yeah, but they would have moved one extra after. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. So I think right. they would have been with us. Yeah, that's right how this works. That's how what would happen. Okay, so yeah. we have some reroll. Okay, so what Let's is this? Do... 
All right. Unfortunately, danger is going up by one. Let's play this fatigue. Oh, so they're going to attack Actually, sorry. Again. One second. One second. Can you get your laser thing out here? Where is the dot? Can I see it from where I am? What? Where's your little pointer? Here? What do you want? This dot to, to this dot. No, no. Absolutely not. Okay. So then I do no. have to move one. Nope, nope, nope. Absolutely not. All right. So danger goes up by one as I move uh, okay. one. Okay. But I think I can do two attacks here. But. At but, range but, and no, kill one. But, what? But, but who's defending then if you're not going to be in the space? You get what's happening? This is what the problem is. So next attack, they attack us. These, these three guys attack these two guys. These two guys die. Baby's alone. They take baby misfortune up. That's, that's the problem I'm saying is unless you two guys rush in here and we start sharing the hits and, t and hitting them back, but you get stuck in this defensive loop right, doing that. Let's do... But you raising the danger and shooting, killing one still means two guys attack and I have zero cards. I have one. I have this one defense for two, two guys, like, and they only have two health each. So when they're attacking for five each and they're both badly wounded, it, it, even if they just get one hit through, they're both dead and the baby's by himself. So right, then I'll move two. That's the thing. So I probably shouldn't have brought the baby in. <laughs> yeah, because that's why I said it. We did it probably wrong. Definitely played too risky. No, I can only do one hit then. I'll just hold I the... I could... Uh, okay, with, put the fatigue down, then I'll hold Like, once... If Gribbert does get to go again, I can heal with this mystery elixir, but it's like... Okay, put the danger down to three. I won't play this fatigue yet. I, I don't know. But that's just where I'm getting at. Like, the harder we hit them, the faster the danger goes up, yeah. the faster they attack back. It's, it's weird. Well, this is a hit, but... This is five, six, seven... Okay, seven on the one that's almost dead. Power. I can't take any so more damage. power. Oh, spend it. How? Th this thing, I told you. You didn't hear me, did you? I did, but I didn't know if I wanted to do that. Oh, okay. Well, Are there cards you want to see more often when you're playing the game? I guess I'll get rid of that one. I don't know, I'm just saying. Okay, then I'll go to one. <laughs> that's why I told you that. It was for this exact same situation. Okay. I thought you did pick one to take out. No, I just... Oh, okay. Because I thought you said, too, you were going to buy some of those to get them out. Could I have? I would have, sure. No, 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 it's here. fine. I did what I, yep. did what I did. No, my bad. No, Let no, me no. Buy one. It might not even help. Yeah, here, I'll buy this bond. Done. It might not even help. But I still should. Here. There. You cannot buy any of those either. Okay, so I'll still do it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he doesn't have any to buy his, or I would have. Okay, and then I'll just hold this fatigue then, so then we're not putting danger up. She's in the space. She'll draw back up. One, two, three, four, five. Like a fire. Okay. Turn ends. Oh, you do get a turn. Okay. So, Gribber, I'm going to do the mystery elixir. I wanted to buy the magic milk, but I, I got to do it. So, oh, okay. I'm going to enter 300 in the app. Oops, sorry. I wonder if it's the same. The frog grog slid down their yeah, throat the same. in far the same. too slow a fashion. It tasted like dirt. Okay, so then I will just heal two, but when I do, I'll get rid of the badly injured, so maybe he can take one hit. Excuse me. Uh, and then I'll end my turn, and I'll draw up. Go oh, ahead, Oh, I do get a turn. Wow, they're letting okay. us... Well, because the danger's lower. Well, it's still at five. Now it's at five, because I hit end turn. It was only at four. But if you played, it would have already been turning to six, so maybe bad things would have happened. I know it is kind of random and it depends how quickly it just happened, but there is a balance here. It's not 100% written in stone that when you hit this much danger, enemies attack. It's like based on how, how often they've attacked or maybe it's random. All right, well, Because I've seen them attack when it's been three danger before. Like yeah. right after we just had a boss or a, a enemy attack. And then sometimes I see the danger get up to like seven or eight. And it's That's like true. fine. Okay, we're going to spend the fatigue. Danger's going to go up. We're gonna, they're going to get attacked anyway. So I'm going to go in. Yeah, yeah. And then I can attack and kill one. Yep. Or I can attack one. No, you need to get rid of one. Okay. Assume they're going next. And how many hits do we want to take? We would rather have just two attacking us. Actually, if I have a chain, I might be able to attack twice. Oh, I have. I can help. Let me see what I got here. I can oh, help I can with help. Uh, one. <laughs> okay, okay. Let's do. Well, this is five. Three abilities. Do you have any cool abilities? Well, that's what I want to save. Oh, can you buy the thing yet? To get a better no, attack? No, because I need, I need more item. Like, I only have one. 
Oh, okay. one thing. I need to trade and do yeah, all that, but yeah, that's yeah. going to have to happen after. Because this could help you, like, with Fox cards, you'd get an extra value, so then you'd be able to, like, do two attacks on a turn, and you get extra damage. So, yeah, we need I him to be better. Do an attack of five. Yeah, let's do this attack is five. I'll put one chain in from here. I'm going to do another. Oh, no, I need the chain on that one. I just do an even attack. And then I get to do a second one with my chain and your chain. That's even again. Two even attacks or one overkill attack. What do you think is better? Whatever you want to do, just do it. I'm down. Not really paying attention. Just well, kind of let you do your turn. All right. I'm gonna I take... can help with one, though, like I said. So you all just right, let me know. We're going to take the odds. I'm going to... You let me know when you want me to play this, no. and I'll just do it. Okay, I'm attacking square. Needs one hit. I'm even right now. Plus two. Okay, he's dead. Woo! Okay, that was good. Uh, These square are just is gone. And then I gain a power, right? Yep. Power, power plus one is loot. Okay, I'll spend that power. And I'll buy his bond card. Woo! Okay. Uh, hide, which I can't afford. <laughs> okay, then... Still not a fairy card. <laughs> where's my hand? Right here. So then I'll attack again. If you have any chains that you'd like to put in, I would love. Done. Okay, and I'm going to put a chain in and from that's, here. That's so from Gribbert. We're, we're even again. I'm attacking the circle. Because I can put the... If this is successful, I can put the badly injured on it. Sure. I'm even again. Plus one, we got it. Okay, we got it. So, so hit him one for damage, one. and then he's badly injured. Okay. This is gone, and this is gone. Okay, that was a successful turn, I feel. One, two, three. Let me just drop my hand, because they're going to attack. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, uh, nope. Put it up four, by one? Five. Is that four now? Yeah. Ooh. Okay, two attacks, melee. Let's see what we got here. Oh, I can defend one of them. Okay. Blaze. Uh, Blaze can defend for... Gribbert can also, but then... Who's next? He could also Sean get a nice next. range attack in next turn, actually. Okay. Let's do... Blaze will defend one of them for four, five, because of my caller. Power. Successful and power. Yeah. That's good. Okay. Okay. Second attack. Um, can she maybe defend? What does she have going on? She can put fire. She can defend for three. That's going to put fatigue up, though. That's bad. Uh, well, there, it's back to zero again, so... It's going to put up two right away. Oh, I don't know. You do whatever. Just let me know. All right, I'll just defend for. <laughs> I'm gonna defend for three. Okay. <laughs> Danger, going up three. Okay, that's bad. Yeah, and then I take two. <laughs> oh and... man! Oh, it's all good. It's all One, good. Two, and then I'm badly injured. Okay. Is that both attacks? Yep. Okay, I'm ending. Yeah. Cool. Well, Chalk's in here with nothing going on, so I don't think I should play this fatigue card. Well, that's all he's got going on. Yep, yeah, so it. like, because that's I what know. I'm saying. That's I like the looper I probably shouldn't have defended with that character. should probably just take uh, all the so damage. I'm going to end turn. Oh, yep. oh my god, yes, it is at four. Yep. Sorry, I didn't draw up. That's okay. I'm going to shuffle. Yep. This is the loop. This is the loop. Yeah, I try not to defend full, I try to take all the damage and go down low health, but still, still kind of rough when you start your turn with no cards, but I don't know what to I say. Know. It was probably my bad. I shouldn't have defended with her with the two fatigues. Oh, and I think I put them back in my discard. Um, oh, yeah, I, that's I the other thing. Yeah, I got to remember to keep discarding them. Um, I definitely know I keep them in my deck sometimes when I shouldn't. Let me see. Uh, which does make it harder. Okay. The baby stretched her mouth wide open as if he... The baby stretched her mouth wide open as if he... Okay, whatever. Uh, Miss Fortune plus one. <laughs> Fortune's at one. Okay. Generate an encounter of one unsavory unless all unsavory are already in play. Oh, no. Yeah, see, this when you're not supposed to beat the enemies, you're supposed to avoid them, like I said. 
All right, so they are meant to be ignored. Again. Like, just run. Do what we gotta do and get out of here. We're gonna be here for hours, in this, stuck in this enemy loop. And we'll just eventually lose, I'll get frustrated and all that stuff. We're doing this one wrong, for sure. Well, I didn't know they were gonna come back. That's never I did because I saw there was an extra health line here. Generate one encounter of unsavory and let's all unsavory in play. Is, is there one or more unsavory sharing a space with the baby? Yep. Look at here. The man stared at the baby, puzzled by the sight of it. What's the baby doing here? But the question hung unanswered in the air as the man suddenly screamed and was flung backwards into a stone wall. <laughs> the familiars gaped at each other, dumbfounded by what had just happened. Oh, this baby's got magic powers. Oh. We're basically carrying Grogu is what's okay. going on here. They're all, like I said, this game's so Disney. So Disney. Uh, all in savory, sharing a space with the baby, lose one life. So everybody but square. Okay. I mean. And then do, what is the uh, ability of badly injured? Is it every time an attack or just every badly time? Badly injured figure loses one or more life, That's loses it. one additional. That's oh, what I was hoping you'd say. Beautiful. Badly and injured. Badly injured on the other guys now that we know this is a thing. Enemy turn. So uh, this guy moves and he's in the party. Then they're all going to attack. Three attacks again. I can do one on this guy. Yeah, and you just run away. Uh, I don't think they're going to keep coming back, though. Uh, okay. I don't think, but... Okay, Blaze will take but either one. Either way, we don't want to sit here fighting the enemies over and over again. The only way to really end it probably is to get the scenario done and leave. Just gonna That's why we're not getting punished for enemies. I know, but they are going to just keep chasing us and hitting so, us. But then we never need to play cards for attack, so we're just playing for defense, no, like will. I said. they will. get to us and hit us, like no matter where we are. But then we're not playing cards for attack, we're playing them for defense, like I keep saying. So who cares? But I'm asking, what, move, defend, what's the move, defend. if we just spend a few turns getting rid of them, or we're just running around and they're just hitting us anyways? But we're getting to story entries, we're delivering bandages, we're, we're doing what we need to do. So you gotta just kind of like move, I think. It's one of those, like, you know, we see these in every game, you know? The one where it's like, ha, this one you're not supposed to fight the enemies. It's one of those, I think. Alright, take two. Pretty sure. Oh no, I take, I take only one, because I have... Uh... <laughs> Three, four. Yeah, so I just take one, but I am badly injured. Okay. And then I don't have any more cards left to defend with, I don't think. Uh, okay. All right, so I will defend, Chalk will defend for six. Minus one, it's fully blocked. We have one more attack. I guess I can just take it with. And I can do Gribbert. But I'm trying to keep some move cards. This guy can only move two with some danger, so. Where's the baby? He's in... Oh, he's in our space. Sorry, he just is getting pushed around. Okay. And then, uh, yeah, this is his hand. So this one, uh, Gribbert will just defend for... Mm, I don't really want to play this Fatigue, so I'm just going to play this, defend for four. Hopefully I roll something besides Danger. Maybe a plus would be nice. Uh, energy, which I don't get because I failed the check. Uh, so they hit me for one, and I'm badly injured. And he's down to three health. So that's that. I think that's all three attacks we've dealt with them. Mm -hmm. I'm back to low hand again with my characters. So when I get to their turn, I have to pass, which is fun. I think it's the same for all, all characters. Yeah. All good. Yeah. Okay. So the only thing that. Yeah, she that's can what do... I mean. So you just got to run away. Go do something. Whatever. Well, I'm just going to put somebody on fire. Oh, okay. Uh, let's put. This the... losing a life will kill this one. Yep. The, it's, it takes one and whatever. Okay, so we'll put him on fire. Danger goes up by one. Yeah. And then her turn is done. That's all I have. One, two, three, Boom. four, five. Okay, Gribbert. Uh, Gribbert's just holding a fatigue. Mm. So Gribbert's got to move, uh, which will make danger go up by one. But I, I don't know what else to do, so I'm going to go here with Gribbert. Uh, danger up by one. Fatigue goes here. Not back in his deck. I'll shuffle up. Yeah, like maybe some of the story stuff might help us again, like fighting them off, like with the way the baby helped. What consumable does Gribbert have? Uh, ones that I can't use right now. Uh, so let's go here. And we'll go there and turn. 
Oh, I don't know how to say that, but thank you for subscribing. Welcome. Clock, 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 clock. Well, Blaze. Flicker's going to be stuck in there, so I feel like maybe I just keep him. But maybe they there. don't go again. Maybe, they maybe don't she go. gets out. I don't know. But yeah, someone might get defeated, so but. Maybe I just. He's going to make he go up again. Maybe I just hold this, do nothing. Uh, I know. That's I was doing on some turns too. It was just like, I'm yeah. not sure, but. We'll do it's nothing. Risk. One, two, three, four, five. That yeah, didn't matter. They attack anyway. Uh, okay. So is discontented for a five? Yep. The baby stretched her mouth wide open as if he okay, missed fortune plus one. Okay, that five. Generate an encounter of an unsavory unless they're already in play. I told you, yeah, it's a loop. So is there one or more sharing a space with the baby? Yeah. Okay, uh, all unsavory sharing a space with the baby lose one life. So this one is dead. Uh, what? Yeah, just take it all away. Sorry. You just remove them, right? You just pick them up and you take them off the board when a savory dies. Take away the circle. And then who else is in the space? Square. And the... Octagon. Okay. And then next. Okay. Then they move. Go here. Actually, this one stops here. Oh, yeah. There's an so Gribbert gets an attack. This is Gribbert's hand, I think. Yep. Gribbert's hand. So Gribbert's going to defend against a uh, five attack. Mm. I guess Gribbert will do a defense of three. Uh, oh no, but then if he gets a hit. Yeah, Gribber will just put his whole hand in. Because, like, I don't want to die, but I'm just, you know, that's what I would do. Um, but unfortunately, oh, I do have plus one here, so it's six. Minus one, still five. I'm good. Oh, I could reroll. Yeah, let's reroll for fun. Might get some more danger. Plus oh, two. plus two. Either way, didn't matter. Uh, okay. Yeah, fully blocked. Okay, that's one. That's this guy's attack. Now these two are attacking. Um, hmm. I can. I can't. Chalk would die because no, I, I can, can only do two, and you would get hit, and you'd be out. I can defend for four, and I get to heal for five. Take that away. So I'm defending for two, three, four. Power I didn't pass, so I lose one health. You're badly Badly injured. injured. That's okay. it. Uh, there's two in there. Sorry, oh, one more. One more. I thought we did both. I think. Oh, I did my yeah. yeah, yeah. I think I can defend with this guy. You have to, I think. So we need these. I'll just defend for three. I heal one. Get rid of that. So I'm defending for three. Plus two. Block it all. Okay. Chalk. I wonder though, is there a spot there where it's asking, is there enemies in play? Because maybe if it gets to a point where there's no enemies in play, it doesn't keep adding more. Yeah, true. I don't know. Yeah, you're probably right. Okay, so let's move for two, one. Actually, I'll just move for one. And then I'll discard a card. Okay, uh, to open this one, right? Yep. That's all you have to do? Yep. And then I'll end turn. Oh, it just keeps adding because of the baby. Okay, so then maybe that's the play. Okay. What, throw the baby away? No, get the baby under four. Okay. Familiar uh, Flicker's turn. Flicker's turn. Oh, yeah, get the baby under control, right? I know I, I, that's the part that sucks is that I use that heal instead of buying the milk that could move it down by two. But I'm trying to get the baby in here to drop it by two. Oh, with that five, we can't even that's do anything I mean. about it now. That's what I'm trying oh. to get the baby in there and move there. But it's like okay. I only have so many cards and now I have to wait a whole another turn. No, I can get the baby in there. So she will move her two, but we'll move her one. Yeah, this is exactly what I'm talking about is not fighting, but just moving around the map and getting things done. Exactly what I mean. Like, just ignore the enemies. Let make danger go down by one. Ooh. Then I'll move two, but I'll just move one and take the baby into this space. And that fire said, where was the fire? Uh, heat. It was heat. warmth Sorry. right here. Okay. So discontent minus two. If you do any healing effects in there, they're doubled. Two. Then. Do we have healing herbs? No. Uh, 
No, we have bandages. Oh. Then I will spin a cloth to care for the baby. Okay, what's the number of the story? Sorry, one sec. Uh, I three, think you have to do that first, but I'm not sure. 307. Okay. Because it might give us stuff. But... The center of the outbuilding was dominated by a well-used forge. It wasn't as elaborate as some used by the great blacksmiths of Domenholt, but it was serviceable and, while normally used for crafting horseshoes and repairing farm equipment, it had just recently been used for weapons. The coals still held heat. The familiars found a barrel of fresh water for cooling hot iron. An iron ladle hung off it above by a hook. Consult the gear two space about the warmth for instructions on how to create Mender's tea using the water and the forge. Is chalk on the space. Uh, I don't see that, but... Oh, the skill check. Yeah, it's just a focus. Okay. Do not place over the symbol. All right. Carry okay, on. And turn. So we did that. We did the baby. Got the baby to chew. Gilbert. They have no food. Draw back up. Turn. Okay. Please. Four or five. Okay. Please. Yeah, my goal is to try to get in there with my characters to heal them in there, playing their heart cards. So I'm going to try to hold them, hopefully, but. And just try to. Oh, that's only. only Maybe you will do the claw thing so you can get his attack and his or, and or his defense up. I don't up. have forge yet. Like, I only have two and I have to move, so I wouldn't be able to do that yet, but I can get in there. That's what I mean, like, just work towards it. Because if you can start attacking harder oh, or defending harder, that would be really good for us. I have a card here. Sorry, I forgot about this one. I have a link uh, if you need, um, but I don't think that could be used for movement. But I think I can just move for... could help you if you're forging for four. I could help you with plus one. All right, I'll move for three. Or I could help you with one, plus one also. Two, three. I'll go to the farthest one because I have three movement. Uh, but then getting back will be harder when you come back to actually fight something because you have less cards in hand, right? Because then you need to use three well, movement. There's I'll no three do movement card. The things as I move out. Oh, okay. Maybe. Okay. Okay, and then I can forge. That, that Danger goes up by one. Four oh no! For three, actually, what is Danger there? five already? Wow. Three. Ugh. You have a chain. Three. Yeah, she'll do four five. I have five forging for five. I think that, well, I don't want you to use your cards on that because you might need them. Yeah, I know. Go ahead. <laughs> Not urgent, but. Plus one. We yeah. got it. We got it. So I'm taking cloth because we need cloth for the other person. Yeah, yeah. And if you, maybe your offense would be a good place. You can use less cards to attack more. Do, do I take that or do I use it for this? You use it for this if you want to keep fighting enemies like you keep saying. But because okay. remember, if you had this, like, look, 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 look. Yeah. Like, remember just like an aftermath, like we learned this a long time ago, was anything that gives you extra on skill checks by just playing your cards because you have the foxy cards mm -hmm. means you can possibly get two attacks on a turn and, or move more and attack. You know, like more often you can attack and get an attack done for less cards. It's efficient. But then also, if somehow you had swords in that attack, you also double your damage. So if you were attacking and killing twice as fast, then that might help us alleviate some of the enemy problems that you were complaining about earlier. That's true. Or the opposite on the defensive side, you could take this and while defending, you just get a free defense. So maybe you have to play less cards while defending and start your turn with more cards. And look, if you play Foxies, you get minus one to the danger. So both these cards could definitely be helping us out with all the complaining and whining we're doing, uh, being challenged by this game. Uh, because you still haven't got these uh, the replacement for this or well, I do have already a, a, a oh, armor okay. that has plus one. Oh, perfect perfect Which is helping me. What's that one like do? Oh, yeah, so then it's an obvious answer. Why didn't you say yeah? Yeah, you obviously just need to no, replace it's this. Not, it's not that it's not yeah. an obvious answer It's the fact that do I keep this cloth get that weapon after we've done this mission where mm. we need the cloth for the mission mm. Or do we okay? I'll just spend it depends and, and grab. I don't know. That's what we're trying to get you to do was get the get the upgraded so when he does bite, this. he is a fighter. He needs to be our fighter. And then, sorry, I need to equip this. And I think does that that doesn't cause danger, right? When I equip it? No. Okay. Now we'll do that. 
So now I can't badly injure anybody, but that's fine. But you still do double damage yeah. on the shot. So we don't have to wait for another person to take a shot, and then the enemy gets to go like twice before that happens, you know? Yeah, no, You'll I'm actually not. like take them out right away. One, two, three. Immediate damage is way better than delayed Just make damage. Sure I didn't put any fatigues in here. Yeah. But fire. Fire is a good delayed one, but the, the double damage one is good for boss, I guess. Okay, done. In turn. One, two. Okay, misfortune plus one. Add it another. Was, it was not. Did you put yes? Uh, yeah. Oh, it was no. Oh, okay. Sorry. I don't know if we can. Hmm. Okay, we're... we'll just ignore this. But I think it does send mis... Usually it does that. Okay, yeah. So it sends it up by one. Then we don't have to do this. Okay. So I'm going to say no. I, I like who cares. Whatever I say. Who cares? Uh, okay, so done. Okay, we'll just pretend that never happened. Um, enemy problems, um, frog or chalk can take. Oh, and then these guys are going to move. Yeah, yeah, of course. Here, so three attacks. So three attacks. All right. So I will just. Chalk is going to defend for. Why don't I ever have mountain when I need to defend it still? Is a thing. I don't have any chains on either character. Sorry. Two, three, four, five. And for five with the heal. So uh, minus one is four. They hit for two, but I'm badly injured. So I'm at... only hit for one. Don't they hit for more? Five. They hit for five. Oh, but you already are badly injured. Sorry, I, I thought you weren't. Oh, okay, okay. Sorry. Yeah, I was like, wait. But you did heal, right? Did you heal that one? Yeah, and I went up to three. Let me think. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. No mountains to help me with extra defense for my oaken shield. So this minus one, I was only blocking for four. They get one through. Yes, yeah, so you'd be at one. Oh, okay, perfect. Yeah. Why did I think they were getting two through plus one? One, two, three, four, five. Minus one is only blocking four. Maybe I thought they hit for six for some reason. I don't know, but whatever. Perfect. I'm bad at math today. That's okay. Okay. Oh, I have a reroll. Yeah, I have a reroll. Let's try that. Maybe it's worse. Still Thanks. minus one. Okay, so I'm down to one. This will go away. Discard. I have one card left in hand, which is a fatigue. Uh, Gribbert will... Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Defend for five. Danger. But it's fully blocked, so no damage. And, and all done? More. Oh, okay. That's gone. Okay. And it's just me? Yeah, it's only two minutes. So three. I will take... Yeah, I don't think it matters. Uh, I'll just let this guy take it. So... Uh, he's not even going to block. It doesn't matter. Oh, uh, heal Gilbert? Heal Gilbert. Oh, one more? I don't know. That's what I'd I probably did have a heart in there. Um, okay, so maybe Gilbert will block for one, uh, roll the die, maybe get pluses, one plus, danger goes up, so I block for two, three goes through, but plus one, because I'm gladly injured, uh, so Gilbert's knocked out, misfortune up, one, two, I think, right, two, I, think so. I, have to... I get rid of condition token, I'm pretty sure, I don't know where that came from. Yeah. Uh, remove the familiar Fire from the two board. Fatigue. Two fatigue. Set the di life dial back to full. That familiar becomes badly injured. Oh, you get that. You're badly oh, injured. and back to... <laughs> yeah. And then return to play. Yeah, on a familiar space or if there's or no fire. familiar or fire, but there's no fire. Okay. Or the flag. Only... No, no. A familiar space, but if there's no familiar, you get to go on the flag or a fire. Okay. Done though. Chalk. Chalk will end turn. Draw up. Okay, raise danger. Okay, uh, flicker. No worries, Tim. Thank you for the support, by the way. Have a good day. Enjoy the rest of your day. Or have a good night, I guess. I should say. Good evening. Well, we'll go out there, I guess, to help and try to... Yep, I don't know. I don't know what to do, right? Yeah, I know. I know.
I just need chalk to get in there, I guess, for this healing stuff, and then we just kind of run away from the enemies and get out. I, I don't know. But the exit space is all the way down here, so... But we still need we still to need go... To I know, I know, that's the thing. Like, it's, like, gonna be this annoying of, like, run only so far past them, then they move and attack, we get stuck in the loop, danger goes up, and it's gonna just be very, like, yeah. So do we just try to kill them? I don't know what you think we should be doing. What are you thinking? Well, I'm just thinking how we're stuck in a loop because this keeps going up and then it'll be in four and five and bad things keep happening and the misfortune, like, it, it, it's just that whole loop of, like, we just got to try to get the things done and hope the app is gentle and doesn't trigger the enemies and check our discontent and keep raising it on us. But we also have to deal with this meter. Maybe we need to do that a little more. I don't know. I just, yeah, I just got it down, like, three, but... I, I know, but the longer we take, the game will just keep pushing it up. And then we get to adding enemies back on the board. So the enemies never get to zero, I don't think. I, I don't see how that's mathematically possible to do enough damage to clear them where it asks, are enemies in play? And the answer is no, unless you have the baby down to like zero. And we kill these guys way faster than the app raises it discontent back up. If I could get magic milk or somebody buys magic milk with two mushrooms, maybe that's a play, but that only reduces it two. Oh, Edgar says you're still alive because you didn't heal the badly injured when you healed. Oh, correct. Okay, yeah, so then you correct. have... Correct. That is true. So you have Thank badly you. injured, so you're still on the board. Yeah. The fortune doesn't go up by two. That's two true. Two fatigues come out of your... Discard. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I was kind of hoping that he would uh, die so I could go somewhere else. But he was in this space, so... Yeah, that's too bad. Yeah, I was hoping the range character could sneak from behind, distract them. And then I use my leap to like jump out of their space, but oh well. All right, I can move with the baby. Oh I guess. well. Hmm. So one. Okay, so we'll move with the baby. This is a heal, so we'll heal the badly injured. Heal one. Move with the baby. So we're only moving to here. Move with the baby again. Okay, we're going to move with the baby again. For one. Let's go, I guess, in here. <laughs> Hide the baby. Heal for one. Let's forge the cloth for five. Are you doing that? In here. Oh, forage. Forage, yeah. Sorry, what Holy. did I Holy. I thought you were forging. I thought you were doing something making bandages oh, or something. No, no, no. Uh, danger goes up, but I do get the cloth. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah. And then I guess we'll try to run it to one of these people next. Oh, yeah. Did you heal extra because of the fire? Did you do that when you did that? Or did I do that? I uh, did anyone heal in this space? I didn't. I did, but I'm already at full. Oh, So okay. I guess I didn't need to heal the second heal, but it okay, doesn't okay. matter. Do okay. Need to enter? Uh, yes. We'll draw first and then one, enter. Two, three, four, five. Sorry. We're oh, just grib it. We're just looking. Okay, and I'll uh, grib it just says enter. Because he defended, okay. and then enemies go again. It's like so, so stupid. Is no. This one's a no. <laughs> oh, okay. No. So it goes up by one. Next, it'll be a four. Are there enemies? Yeah, see? If we can say no to this, I feel like it's not going to keep putting... But how? Them. How do you kill them I'm that just fast? Saying, I don't know. But I'm just saying, if we could have... How do you do it, though? Defending with the starting my turn. I can't. Gribbert can't even attack. Chalk can never attack because they keep defending. How does that make sense? I, I can't no, fight the enemies. I understand. I'm just saying, if we could have... The discontent goes up every time they trigger, so I, I don't see how in... The next three enemy triggers will have enough cards to then take them out. No, too. I know. It's impossible now. I'm saying if we had done it before. Mm, but I think we were already in the loop at the very beginning just by mm -hmm. the way the enemies work. That's fine. No, it's not. That's just how it works, right? Because enemies move three spaces. No, I know. We there don't is know nowhere what to happens. hide from them. That's there what is I'm nowhere. We can't just outrun them. We're going to be I still know. getting hit. Yeah. But so if it... you're getting hit, we're defending and then we're not attacking. So we're stuck in the loop of. Even from the very beginning of the game, there's no way to overcome this much damage unless you just get so lucky on rolls. Like you just defend with like, well, I'm going to put one card in and roll a plus five. Oh, wait, that's not possible. So you're going to get hit and eventually die and get knocked out. So I don't think so. I think we're just supposed to avoid the enemies and try the best to run, block a little bit, run. Like we're not supposed to waste turns fighting them back. That was our mistake. And that's what could have pulled us in the loop. So are there yeah, enemies yeah. in play? Unfortunately, I'm clicking this button again for the 17th time. 
and then we'll go through this boring uh, attack. Just and the two of you guys. Two of me? Oh, okay, fun. But I don't know if I have any. Uh, I'm going to say no defense. No defense. Dead. Bloom. No defense. Boom. A badly injured fatigue in my discard. Uh, chalk. He's also knocked out. Boom. Knocked out. Boom. Uh, badly injured to fatigue. Boom. So oh, oh, but that's... That's that's fine. Then this guy who Maybe didn't he attack. Can savory that is yep. not he's here. He's here. Now he's all going. Of them. Oh. Like they're all in there. They yeah. then do okay. the melee. Now yep. we're gonna move all of them in. Boom, they're all in here. Uh okay. and then if one or more in savory is in space with the baby. And no for minutes. Okay, then yep. that's it. Okay, boom. Capture. They're not there with the loan. Okay, perfect. Done. Blaze. Okay, he needs to try to get this other. No, he's just going to run and take the baby. Take the baby! And go get... Run with the baby! I'll go get something from somewhere else, because that one is tough. You have heart cards in hand, because you could go in here and heal, and if you're there, I can come back on the board on Chalk's turn in this space, do this story without having to go somewhere different and then try to waste cards to move Chalk over there so we can kind of game the game. I don't need that for that, but I can... Because I'm already full, but I can just get in Oh, there. okay, okay, okay. Uh, I should take the baby. Get the baby! So let's do one. We'll move it in with one. Yep. Then we'll. And everything else is only a one while you carry the baby. We'll move with a one. <sighs> Oops, this one. It's okay. I only need another one. Let's keep these fox cards though. So then let's do again. Move in here. Baby comes in. Oh, it's only the first time. Yep. And then. Oh, I can't. Oh, unless I have chain. Hold on. I might be able to forge there and then choose it to be something else. I don't have any chains on this one. No. Okay. So I will hold these and turn. One, two, three, four, five. Did you you put our misfortune up by I did. two by each, four. right? Yep. Okay. Uh chalk. Who's got cards? Chalk will start here. I'm gonna go three oh seven, right? Yep. The center of the outbuilding was dominated by a well-used forge. It wasn't as elaborate as some used by the great blacksmiths of Domenholt, but it was serviceable and, while normally used for crafting horseshoes and repairing farm equipment, it had just recently been used for weapons. The coals still held heat. The familiars found a barrel of fresh water for cooling hot iron. An iron ladle hung off it above by a hook. Consult two for instructions on making Mender's teas. Chalk on the space? Yeah, sure. Chalk stopped and took a moment to exist within the space of the cramped chamber, unmoved by the heat. Its eyes passed over the forge and the plethora of metal objects that lay scattered about on workbenches or hung on racks of iron. Its eyes passed over the forge and the plethora of metal objects that lay scattered about on workbenches or hung from racks of iron. One item caught its eye in particular. Tweets danced on a rocky shoulder while Chalk trundled to a workbench and picked up a machinist's hammer. Mm. The golem studied the filigree pattern worked into the hammer's head, ran its rocky fingers across the flat striking surface. <laughs> but its whole demeanor drooped when it saw the handle was broken and in need of repair. We'll fix it! We'll fix it! Chalk placed the hammer in its bag and moved on. Right, broken hammer on the campaign journal. And then you can block the space. Okay, that was not as interesting as I thought. Okay. Uh, so, what do we have on the journal? Do we have the T or? No, we have bandage. We have to go and just use the cloth. I don't think we can do the T. I think we oh, okay, okay. lost out on that one. So we just need to go to, the... we got rid of the one on this one? Yeah. Okay, okay. I, I have one bandage. But then we need to get down here to exit. Yes. So weird. So I don't think I could just, all of us need to go up there unless no, we're no, running, know. but she might get stuck here unless she's next. She might be next. One, two, can't remember. three, four, five, six, seven. I can move for one, two, three, four, five. Okay, sure. Let's do that. Leave baby. Uh, what am I entering? Anything? 
Or I'm just reading here. Uh, if you have the healing tea, nope. If you have bandages written on the journal? Yes. Oh, I may spend this thing. Oh, I need one more, I see. I have one. Uh, one spend one of cloth material to remove the token from this space. If there's no tokens on the map, enter 310. But there still is. So then I will... Mm. Mm. Oh, you also had food. Is there a need for that food? Because yeah, you sure. could reduce do, it. Do, if it's at that point, yeah. Yeah, cool. is that the one where we can choose that any? four? Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And while you were in the space with Definitely the Definitely right would have done that. Uh, so, oh, tweets. Uh, tweets, tweets. I can get the cloth with tweets. Tweets can get the cloth. And then I move one more space and spend cloth to get rid of that. Done. Okay, now we can read the entry. I'll hold this petite. Oh, then I will be able to heal the baby. Tweets for the win. All right, what am I entering? Three, uh, one. Uh, bandages, three, ten. Thank you for your help. Darby, the man from the farmhouse, gave the familiars a deep bow. We are forever in your debt. You're an odd group, to be sure, though I can't quite explain why. <laughs> his eyes fell on the baby. <laughs> A red-haired babe. And his voice trailed off a bit as his brain spun. Wait, who did you say you all were again? Gribbert tipped an imaginary hat to the man. It was our pleasure to assist. But Darby stroked his chin. You're heroes all, yet I feel you carry a heavy burden. All familiars get a power. You Ooh. get a power. You get a power. Everyone gets a power. Good. Yay. Still gotta get out of here, though. Continue your turn. Yep. Well, I don't think it's smart to play a fatigue just to move one, so I'll just hold it, I guess. What's danger at? One. Yeah, let's just be safe, I guess. Er, safer. Safe ish. Licker, licker, go, licker. This guy's at two, this guy's at three. Like I can set someone on fire. Oh, I can reduce our danger by one. Ooh. Yeah, and then maybe just go into exit space, try to dig up to uh, better defensive cards or chain cards, link cards to help other people block. But yeah, that's just trouble. You got three enemies like right here. So even if you go wait in the exit space, they'll just like move to you. But we can choose them to go here, split up. Um, but no one else is closer. Does Chalk have enough movement? Oh, in Gribbert his, hasn't gone in yet. In his hand, if he hasn't, if he doesn't have to defend anything, does he have enough to get to the exit movement? Well, I'll probably end up spending defensive links because we know the enemy will probably go first. And if that's the case, and I'll only have three movement. But if I save cards and don't do that, I have seven-ish so movement. You can get out one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Yeah. Okay, well. I guess I can put someone on fire. Maybe they... He's on fire! It's going to raise your danger, though. Do yeah, it. then don't do that. Just move to the exit and play defensive. Maybe draw up link cards or better defensive cards. I don't know if I don't know how her defensive stats are. Are they all literally ones on every single card she owns? Yeah, but I have every uh, thing I play gives me. An oh, extra that, uh, perfect! That's your defensive cards. I would just hold those and get in this space if you can. Yeah, we can so choose them to I... split up though, Mel. You don't have to defend against all of them. Like we can I choose know, one to I go know. here. Okay, so I'll just move to here. There was nothing else I could do in that space before I moved. Okay. No, I would just hold hope those, for the best that they don't activate and then draw one more. Oops. Okay, Gribber. Rubber, 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 and then uh, well, same thing. Um, I think. I think he just holds, and I enter. Blaze. blaze. Oh, get in the space, blaze! Here, you need to move one, two. And I have two defending move that I can use agility. Okay, so I yeah, need keep all the best defense you have. That's a two defense. That's a two defense. <laughs> But I need to move with the baby, so I need to spend. Oh. Actually, this will get me, because it's just... That becomes a one. So I gotta do... That's fine. Okay, let's move with the baby. And then let's... Move with the baby. These are my best defense cards. We just gotta wait for Chalk Hoping. 
Please, okay. please. Yeah. Oh, we did it. Oh, thank goodness. Keeping that craptastic danger down. Well, I'm going to play this fatigue. Uh, so danger does go up as one of the moves. It's fine. I think by the time. And then a whole bunch of cards. I will just keep. I'll keep a stone face, maybe. And the other ones I'll just discard. And then, and then I'll draw it. up one, two, three, four, draw a card step, and then I'll do end turn. But instead, I'm entering three, three, five. Ooh. Holy, we got there. Follow the travel route on the map that leads to the Founder's Field location. Fill in the bubble. Do you want to continue? Please. The Founders' Fields were rolling plains dotted with grey stone ruins, holdovers from the ancient civilization that first peopled the lands. Old stories told of a massive battle that was fought on these lands and heralded the end of the ancients' reign. Blaze looked around, drinking in all the rich information her predator's senses were feeding her. So you're saying that even though the land is fertile, people will not live here or till it? She found the notion ridiculous. Ribbert shrugged. We are a superstitious lot. The people who died here did not die well. They were the first people? Yes. They were here when the Gormans first arrived, centuries ago. The ancients welcomed the strangers to their shores, fed them, sheltered them. In time, they even taught them magic. And then what? Uh, well, the Gormans turned on them and killed them, claimed the land for themselves. Blaze turned back and looked at the baby, goo-gooing sweetly in her blanket. Is that who the royals are? Untrustworthy murderers? Easy, Red. It was a, a different time. Oh, yes. Blaze looked out at the war-scarred horizon. How far they've come. They followed the old road as it wound through the plain. With the sun high in the sky, the path led them through a patch of ruins marked by an arch. Flicker seemed excited. Oh, we should stop here for a rest and resupply. There's even water. Chalk stopped and turned slowly to stare at the sky. In the distance, the sky was darkened by a cluster of winged creatures. Uh oh. Blotters! Blotters! Tweets danced all over Chalk's head excitedly. <laughs> Blaze leapt to attention and stared up at the sky. Good spotting, Chalk. They're heading this way. Quick, into the ruins. Oh, oh watchers! Wow. All right, okay. let's start the setup instructions and then we'll take a little break. So place the baby and the and the familiars on the starting space. Generate the encounter with four watchers. So there is, I see, personally I see two enemy spaces, but you might see others at different angles for me because I can't see it all. No. Uh, if being watched is written on the campaign journal, cross it out and add three danger. No. Otherwise, continue to the next familiar's turn. So there's going to be Horchids. There's going to be Watchers, possibly up to four of them. There are four. Okay, so we need little cubes for their health. And then this one is, uh, if there's no enemies on the space... Oh, yeah, that was probably the last one too, right? If enemies came in oh, that yeah, space... Oh, yeah, we would have had to move them away. Which didn't I happen. I would have ended the game. I would have flipped the table and walked away. But, uh... <laughs> you just end stream and... Yeah, because how long would that take for us to get four characters' turns to move out? Yeah. Have the enemies Bring activate, them. come, and then hope we get four characters' turns again to get back in? Yeah. Like, that's just a big waste of time. But I, I understand it makes sense. It's kind of fun, but... It's like, yeah, we definitely played that last one wrong. That's our bad. Uh, upon leaving this location, same thing. 336, if there's any enemies in play, misfortune plus one. Yeah. Yeah. So you can't even like I kept thinking like you could just take misfortune if you're like I just need to finish or I just want to get out of this loop and get out. But I keep forgetting that there has to be no enemies on the exit space or else you you're not supposed to just leave, right? You can right. you can house rule do whatever you want. Take take extra punishment or something, but um but yeah, there's no way to just be like, "No, we're we're going to die. We don't want to die. Let's get out of here." And just take one misfortune instead of like eight, you know? Um, but you have to literally like distract the enemies and run away from them, which is clever. All right, so the goal is to get the familiars and the baby the exit space, same as usual. Um, so yeah, we're gonna take a quick little break, and we'll be right back in a couple minutes. Stay tuned.
Oh, it's Flicker's yeah. turn. Flicker. Flicker's turn. What are we doing here? We need to just get to the exit, which is where? Here. Yep, some story entries, some enemies we don't see yet, so. Names. Oh, she can just go in there. Uh, let's. Can she range fire at one of these things or light someone on fire yeah. yet? Yeah. Okay, let's. Flicker will move, and she doesn't care about these dotted lines, but we'll move in here. And we'll trigger three, one, two. Hopefully this is not bad. The turtle sighed wearily as the familiars approached her. Oh, thank goodness. I've been trapped here a frightfully long time, which for turtles is very long indeed. She held on to the bank as best she could, her rear half stuck in the water. Flicker hovered over the turtle and pointed out a vine that had ensnared her back leg. Gribbert knelt by the turtle. If you let us roll you over, we can cut you loose. But the turtle snapped her jaws in fright. If I roll over, I'll be pulled in. Gribbert's bulbous eyes followed the vine to its source, a dangerous orchid. Lucky for them, it hadn't detected their presence. All right, what should we do? Should we cut the turtle free, slowly untangle the turtle, or do nothing? Feel free to vote in the chat, and uh, we'll go with uh, whatever the majority wants. <laughs> There's a risk to some of it, I guess. I think it's fun. Uh, let's see. All right, so number one is quickly cut the turtle free. Number two is slowly untangle the turtle. <laughs> <laughs> number three, do nothing. And Edgar says number four, make turtle soup. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Yum. Hmm. <laughs> oh. Sorry. Also, just while you're voting for that, while I was in the space with the baby before I moved, I would have spent this cloth. Sure. Yeah, to yeah, whatever. Lower discontent. Yeah, yeah, too. yeah. Because we had that leftover from last time. Then I can get the food in here potentially. Sure. And get the baby back down to one. All right. Uh, slowly untangle the turtle. Okay. Gribbert and Chalk climbed into the water while Blaze and Flicker held on to the turtle from the bank. The poor creature was beside herself. Please be careful. They worked together, turning the turtle as needed, and soon they had her free of the grasping vine. She turned in a circle once, very slowly, of course, and wagged her stubby tail happily. Why, thank you so much. How can I repay you? Gribbert gave her a wink. Just mind your step, madame or next time we'll have to charge you. The turtle tittered at that, but tipped them all the same. Gain one resource token of your choice. Uh, well, I think it's gonna have to be cloth again because the baby's discontent is gonna go up and I need cloth. To yep, discontent plus one. Yeah. Dang. Cover up the space, the story space, and continue Flicker's turn. Okay, so let's spark. Uh, one, two, let's choose an enemy within two spaces, they're on fire. I don't think it matters. The circle one. And then danger up by one. And then let's forge. Oh, it's five on this space. Oh, it's tough out here. I could. What's your weapon, dude? Do you have a way to not for range forge. attack? Oh yeah, range attack, I could do an attack. Of... There are only five, these watchers, if that matters. Yeah. Uh, and we can do some link action. Hold on. What I could do five, six, seven. No, I can do it with the, just this hand okay. here. So yeah, let's just do seven. Range attack on circle, who is on fire. Yeah, we gotta get them before they get us. Danger, do I have a reroll? I do not, but it does do a damage. Okay. All right. And turn, and turn after you draw yeah. up. Grab it. Grab it. Okay, we're going to do some range attack, I think. 
Let's get. We have going on here. I am going to. Let's see. This would be worth. Oh, sorry. You should be at six. What? I'm not dead. I think you came back to life. I'm not dead still. <laughs> I'm not the ghost of Gilbert and Chalk. I don't need health. I'll never get hit. Clip uh, that for 10 minutes. Yeah, yeah. Scenario. I'll get hit in two seconds and be dead again. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. So let's go with... This will be hitting for six. Yep, six. Six on circle. Yeah. Then circle will die when they go. Plus, Plus one. one. Got him. No reroll needed. Okay. So this circle will now die on his turn. Okay. No. I need to focus on. I'll hit the other one or try for three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Plus, Plus one. one. So, so this. One. No, this one. Yep. Okay. That was good. Yeah. Five and turn. Problem is, Blaze has to get in there, which is fine. Yeah, but then these guys are close. They'll all be on him, swarm him, like happened to Gilbert last turn or Gribbert. Okay, so then what Gribbert, Blaze Gribbert. will do? What Blaze hey, Brian. will do? Hi, Brian. Blaze will move. Let's see, got here four, just five. So I need. I don't want to keep that. Okay, let's move for one. Just go get some. He can turn that into whatever for the baby. Then let's forge. Forge for five, two, three, four, 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 four. If I put this in, I'm even. If I don't put this in, if I get this, I can move in and do the baby one. Hmm. I don't know if I have faith in the die, so. Danger. I have no rerolls. Oh, I guess I could have done that, but I don't want to do that, I don't think. All right. So we did get it. So I will choose cloth. Instead, with his ability, he's done. One. Miscontent, three, no. Uh, plus one on discontent. Okay. Enemies in play, yes. Okay. Grab each horchid that is not sharing a space with a familiar. There are no horchids. Move each watcher that does not already share a space to familiar or the baby up to three move points towards the nearest familiar or baby. Okay, so this one just dies, the one that's on fire. Okay. So then let's do this one. One. You have to kill it because chalk will be next. Can it reach with three movement points? Two. Oh, wait. One, two, three. Yeah. Or it can go in here or here. So I'm just asking, like, chalk is next. Does he have... Is a full hand. Uh, yeah, can. sure. Okay. And then these guys, I guess, are just going to come one, two, three. One, two, three. Yeah. Or they can go here, I guess. One, two, three. Um, oh. Okay. Resolve a melee attack with each enemy that shares a space with one or more familiars. Oh, I guess if I was going to do an attack, I forgot. They're attacking yeah. for six. Yep. Yep. Gilbert's in there as well. Who went like? Who's next? I don't Chalk. even know. Chalk's next. Yeah. He's like my defender. I can give a chain. One chain. Link. Link cards. Yeah, I can give two. A grubber will just defend. He'll just defend with the whole. Well, then he can't fight back, which he could snipe one of these guys. Hey, I can give some chains. If you play one card, I'll give you two chains so you have some hate cards in hand. Because then potentially we can take this guy out. Or start sniping one of the ones above. Defend for one. Okay, I'll give you another two. So defending for three. 
Oh, danger. So you were defending three, uh, so you take three. But I actually take four because I'm badly wounded or whatever. Oh, but then I have plus one here, so... One less? Yeah, one less. Okay. What's next? Oh, and then they spy. Oh, sorry, melee. Spy. If any watchers are in play, misfortune plus one. Okay. Run away. Move each watcher. Shares a space with the familiar three movement points away. Oh. Moving it up to far away as possible. One. From all the other two, guys. Whatever. Three. Okay. And then that's it. We have no orchids. Dang. I didn't realize they were going to run away from you. Capture if a orchid shares a space to the baby. Oh. Chuck. Oh, yeah, that's yeah, now they ran away. That's yeah, I defended then, with the wrong character. Yeah, I know. Yeah, okay. Shoot. But whatever, I can still shoot with him. Yeah, that sucks. Okay. Tweets can forage. Food, mushrooms, and wood are what we got. But I could just move up and fight, but then he's stuck there and they're hammering on us. I don't know where these war kids are going to appear, and I don't know if this is a story space because the minis are so big. Yeah, it Their is. Their bases are. Okay, so that could start where the war kids pop out of these little plant things or something weird. So that's the only other story space, right? Yes. Yeah, that's how war kids appear. So let's avoid it. Okay. Right? Can we yeah. go around it? Yeah. Like we can go this way. Yeah. Or that, like, yeah, yeah, we can go around it. Okay, cool. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. <sighs> I really don't know what to do. I really don't know what to do. Okay. I'm gonna move two with this card. Take a baby. One, two. I'm gonna play root bridge, see what that does. Can you give me the root bridge token? I'm gonna to enter 600, I think is what the number is on the card. Action I'm taking, place the root bridge token with one end in chalk space, the other end in a different space within line of sight. Enter, so I wanna put it like this. I don't, I don't know, but we'll find out. Hopefully it gives me more than just... It's probably got to touch something or... When playing the Root Bridge skill card for its special action, place the Root Bridge token so that one end is in chalk space, the other end is in any other... is in another space. The Root Bridge cannot be placed so that it crosses any double solid white lines. Figures can now move between these for one movement point. Root Bridge example. Oh, that's cool. Oh, cool. I don't know if I could have made it easier. Like, could I have done it like this? Yes, I could have. Let's pretend we did it from here. So we can just GTFO. Okay. Then I will play tweets and I want to grab this food. If you can get me a food, so that talk can help. So, bebe. Okay, food. Which you could do now if you wanted, because yeah, it's please. on four, Done. and you Here. can choose any one. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, then I'll play Stone Face to move for one, which will get me to the exit with the baby. Okay. And then this Fatigue, I will just hold and draw four cards, and click the End Turn button, okay. and Flicker. Mm. Two. So she can fly over this double for one. She can go in this space. Yeah, I'm thinking about just grabbing that food along my way if I can, because that's oh. only one, two. Oh, there's food. Where? This oh, one. right there. Yeah. I couldn't see that. Uh, one, two. Yeah, it's only two. I only need two movements. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. Makes sense. Makes this, sense. This. Um, can... hold on. I can probably help you. Yeah. But it's my three defensive guard cards. No, so. no, no, I'll keep it because we may have to, you may have to defend. Yeah, exactly. Getting there. So let's do a forge for six. Yeah, probably shouldn't sit there if these guys are going to activate soon because, oh, maybe we might get lucky. Everyone gets to go first. Minus one is five, so we get it. So we get a food. 
Yeah, just uh, careful to roll and not die too much. Otherwise, the enemies will attack faster and they'll be in my space. But we can split them up if then, uh, we need well, to. I need to get the food, which I did, and then put this on here. And then I will move for two. So it's one, two. And then in the baby space, three is cloth, two is food. Nice. So putting him to one. Do you care for that, baby? And then <laughs> that's it. End turn and draw. Grab it. So he can not get any extra damage. So even just attacking once is pointless. And all these are pretty much the same defensively. Oh, who killed? Sorry. That other one that died was it died by fire, right? Sure. She gets one. Okay. Right. And he just needs to move. Or do I have his leap? One, oh, yeah. Two, <laughs> leap. Two, one, two, three. Leap. And I'll just draw two cards, click and turn. Maybe I get to go. Yeah. yeah. Okay, can I get there? I have a three movement, so. You better get there. It only is one, two, three away. All right. Uh, do I want to keep this, though? Uh, yeah, we'll spend that one for three movement. One, two, three. And then uh, anything else on your turn? Uh, no. Okay, so raise misfortune by one because there's enemies in play, and we're going to click three, three, six. Follow the travel route, get to the north road location, and fill north in that road. bubble. Okay. Now continue on. You betcha. And just like that, he lost his hat. What a terrible day for Jax the Cat. Gribbert finished his song with a flourish. Flicker cheered and Chalk clapped, but Blaze hushed them all. Her ears stood up on her head. Wait here. And off she went, dashing down the road as silent as she could. She was back less than a minute later. A couple of minstrels sit by the road with a broken down wagon. Gribbert smiled. <laughs> Sound like my kind of people. Very Flicker good. nervously rubbed her hands together. We need to be careful. Minstrels excel at spreading rumors. Gribbert nodded. Yes, and some can be rather untrustworthy, but oh, nobody okay. really believes a minstrel's rumor. Yeah. Flicker <laughs> sighed and... What did you pick? I just said nod and say good oh, luck like okay. we did last time. And then it asks if misfortune's there. Oh, that's unfortunate. So it's going to be different but this time. I think understand. we're just bumping into more people Don't on the wait, road. Melissa. But it's just Vagabond repeating. Jones glanced at his companion, who simply gave a snort and looked the other way. Oh. Okay, misfortune plus one, right? Stranded minstrels on the campaign journal, which should already be there, right? Yep. Okay, follow the travel route that leads to a new location. Okay. Maybe it wanted us to do something different, but who cares? Uh, okay, type in the entry. Where do you want to go? Where do you want to go? Uh, uh, caravan or contraption farm? Ooh. Contraption farm. Okay. Three, three, four. <laughs> Maybe we'll find something cool. Yeah. <laughs> Blaze returned from scouting and described the strange homestead she had found. They agreed it was worth checking out. From a hill nearby, they looked down upon an odd structure that consisted of a small house, workshop observatory, a massive copper boiler, and a tall tower with a spiral stair going to the top. At the top of the tower was the strangest sight they had ever seen. A massive airship was moored to the tower, hanging in the air in much the way large objects usually don't. It was a grand sight. Three enormous red balloons linked together with a network of cables, each adorned with yellow pennants that flapped in the late afternoon breeze. Slung below the balloons was the ship itself, which looked oddly seaworthy. A cable that reached from the tail of the ship up to the third balloon carried the flag of Principalia and the livery of the house guard of Domenhold. A narrow gangplank extended from the ship to the platform at the top of the tower. <sighs> Gribbert gave a low whistle. That's no farm. Well, that must be a wizard's house. Oh, yes! Flicker agreed. It must be a wizard. I've never seen its like. Gribbert pointed up to the airship. If that craft came from Domenhold, it will likely return. Perhaps we could stow away? Blaze liked that thinking, even if she wasn't keen on getting in a flying boat. Let's go in for a closer look. Turn to page 25. All right. Let's skip some spots here. Oh, oh, some fire, but not really fire. Just enemies. Okay, set up instructions. Contraption farm. Place the baby and familiars on the flag space. Okay, 
Place a door token on the door next to the gear one and gear two symbols. Two. One. one. <laughs> Okay. Uh, place uh, Blaze and Gribbert are not tall. Gilbert are not, Gilbert, Gilbert, Gilbert are not tall enough to open the door unless another familiar shares a space, gives them a boost. Uh, number two is a locked door. This door requires a key to open. So oh. this one's locked. This one's locked. This one we can boost to open uh, unless somebody else taller is there. The re gear up here beside this thing is release steam. A familiar on this space can turn the valve to release hot steam from the boiler. This requires a might skill check of five. Pass. For the rest of the game, when a figure enters a space, its life is reduced by two. This does not affect flying figures. If you fail, misfortune plus one. The exclamation point, which we don't see yet, is at the end of a familiar's turn. If all familiars and the baby are on this space, you may leave this location instead of pressing enter and go to 327. So we don't know how to get out yet. Uh, encounters. There's Lieutenant Jor. So oh, boss, boss fight time, maybe. Um, two movement. Six melee. Five range and seven defense. Size medium. The loot is coins plus two. Coins. What are coins? What are coins? Maybe that's, is there are the coin tokens in there or something? I don't know. No, no coins. What's coins? Maybe you write it on your journal. Maybe it's just like a thing to write down. It's probably just a thing okay, to write down. Okay, maybe you're right. I, I don't, I don't know. know what coins are. I reread the rules saying I don't remember coins, but no. it might teach us about it. Um, we'll keep reading. Leader, when Jor would lose life. If he shares a space with one or more unsavory, divide the loss as evenly as possible among those unsavory instead. Well, they take the damage for him. Okay. Okay. And yeah, Lieutenant Jor's life track, unfortunately, goes up to 11. Mm hmm. Uh, unsavory, two move, five melee, four range, five defense, size medium, loot, you get an, a power. Brutal, if an attack from the unsavory's success isn't successfully defended, the target becomes badly injured. So there's two of them, five health for each one. Victory objectives. In order to win this chapter, you must complete this objective. Find a pilot and escape in the airship. So we don't necessarily need to like worry about these because there's nothing punishing us for leaving while enemies are still alive. And there are no exits. See the victory objectives section on this page for more information on how to advance. So find a pilot yep. and exit. Okay. Find the pilot. And there's story 320, story... He's in here, 324, because yeah, in this one's locked. Unless so we need to go in here to find out about the key. Yeah. Then you unlock this door, and we need to find out about this one, get the pilot. And I don't know what the deal with the boiler is, but maybe that helps. Maybe it distracts them. Yeah, maybe we need to do that to help find the key or something. All right, that's, that's the deal. That's what we know. So let's see what happens. Uh, okay, so I'm going to click done. Oh, thanks. Edgar says, I entered the entry for roads. It's a random encounter each time I press it. Oh, okay. And we just got the same one twice. Okay, that, okay, makes, that makes sense. I was super confused. Yeah, that's weird. Why I wouldn't save that we already had that happen. Yeah. But you could have picked a different option, which I knew. And I thought about putting up a poll and doing a different option. But I'm like, no, let's just do the same thing we would have done. And, and like, you know. Yeah, whatever. I was really confused. Just like, to be quicker. Because I thought it was an error or something in their no. coding. Okay. Yeah, it's random. All the road spaces probably pull from a little random thing. Okay. Because it's like uh, you're just meeting more minstrels, you know, like, but maybe we could have helped them out or something. Do I get to, I get to draw back up, right? I didn't say, but I think you're supposed to. I think so. I have five. Because I, have five. Of, cause I used, oh, yeah, oh, maybe I should have. What did I do with him? Yeah, you probably just Oh, didn't. I probably just didn't draw back up. He was the last one to go. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Okay, chalk. Uh, what can chalk do? Five. Fox going to. Five. Oh, yeah. We know the enemies will spawn when we enter here, probably. Hmm. You think the unsavory's in here and he's well, in Well, the there? key's probably. Uh, you gotta find something. Yeah, we have to. We have to so, get So, okay. So, Chalk will. I'm gonna spend one, which will raise danger. I'm sorry. It's all good. Gotta be done. Just to move. I always think of carrying the baby with chalk, but it's like, is that the right play? I don't know. Sure. Then I'll pitch a card. Uh, let's get rid of focus. Uh, to open this, right? Mm -hmm. I think that's how, yep, discard a skill card. Okay. Uh, then let's move in. With the baby? With the baby. Okay, what's the story entry, please?
The door had a hand-painted sign that said, Air Travel Agency. Flicker nudged Gribbert. What does that mean? Gribbert could only shake his head and shrug. He raised a hand in caution. We need to be discreet. We do not know who will answer this door or if they are trustworthy. Let me do the talking. <coughs> Flicker coughed politely and Gribbert sighed. Okay, let the fairy do the talking. Yay! They stepped inside the house. The aroma of wholesome foods cooking made them crave the comforts of home. A small mechanical steam bird toot tooted from a perch near the door and tweets chirped back in response. They could see into the kitchen where a round woman with her hair in a frazzled bun was frantically preparing a feast. She called out to them. You must be hungry, Lieutenant Jar. Have the boys wash up for dinner will be served soon. Um, we aren't a lieutenant. We're just travelers. The lady turned around surprised, but she smiled widely all the same. And wiping her hands on her apron, she greeted them warmly. Oh, you're a big boy, aren't you? She gave Chalk a pat on the arm. Mm -hmm. I am Hella. I run this place, but Gertie, she's the pilot. How can I help you? <laughs> Flicker gave her best smile. We were wondering if your airship went to Domenhalt, and if perhaps we could book passage. Splendid! I can put you on the schedule for three days from now. She consulted her ledger. What name should I put this under? She looked back at them, and they watched as a puzzled look slowly crept over her face. Hmm, there's something about you. Flicker wrung her hands. <gasps> Three days? Oh, we can't wait that long. Aside from Chalky here, we don't take up much space. Surely you can fit us in? Hella eyed them all curiously. I swear I've seen you all before or something, have I? Mm, here. She reached into a drawer and pulled out a wooden block that said workshop on it. At the end of the block was a big iron key. You'll need to ask Gertie. Don't bother knocking, because the gods know Curti won't hear you. Write extra passenger on the campaign journal. You now have the key, a key to the workshop. Remove the door token next to this number two symbol. There's no longer a locked door here. And cover up the little story entry. Continue your turn. Cover up the little story entry. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Okay. And... Okay, so now we have the key. I'm going to move with Bibber. One, two, and then I will move with this rest god. One, two, the three, two, four. Uh, yep. It turned out Gertie was not a wizard, but a great inventor of some renown. Her gray hair stood in different directions, and her face was sooty, as if she had been climbing in chimneys. I assume Hella discussed payment with you. Gribbert nodded his head. Oh, yes, yes, all paid up. Flicker jabbed him in the ribs. Gertie scowled. Where's the lieutenant? Where's Jor? Surely he brought more soldiers than you. But you're not soldiers, are you? Wait, what are you exactly? Uh, which of the following is written on the campaign journal? Extra passenger. We're not with the lieutenant. Flicker tried to sound as trustworthy as possible. But we have urgent need and must away to the city as soon as possible. Gribbert cleared his throat. <clears throat> we offered a second payment upon arrival at the city if we could be prioritized over the lieutenant. <sighs> Blaze grumbled at the fib. Double pay, eh? Oh, I like the sound of that. But I can't prioritize anyone over Jor since Lord Parrish has ordered him to commandeer this vessel. But I might have a secret space or two I use for moving uh, questionable goods or passengers. If you can wait there for me to ferry Jor and his boys around, I can drop you off after. Drop who off after? <gasps> they gasped and whirled around. Lieutenant Jor stood there with several soldiers, glowering at the familiars. Generate an encounter of two unsavory and Lieutenant Jor. Place them on the space adjacent to the three, two, four space. Oh, he's his own guy here. I didn't yeah, know. there's a couple of just like singles that I figured were like 
the final bosses of each bosses era. Or, yeah. Oh, yeah. I never thought of that. Lieutenant Jor. I don't even know if this is the final boss. But... Oh, come on. Well, of course we still it have is. one more dot. Yeah, but that's just going to write your save spot for the next start of the next one. It'll probably tell you to grab the other era and yeah, maybe, maybe not. Maybe, I, maybe you not. might be right because I don't know. We'll find out when we hit the end of the era if we make it through here. Oh, sorry, if Jor doesn't kill us all. Okay. Uh, you now have a pilot. So place an exclamation token on the spiral staircase. Oh, that's our exit. I see. Okay, now place this. So we do need to. We do need to get out of here. Turn on the steam that slows them down, so we actually can get off. Yeah, I get what's going on. This is pretty cool, actually. It's good that you did all of that, though. That these so guys can just go. Can up you cover the story get, space? Yeah, you did. Yeah. I can't see that Sorry. spiral staircase. Looks like this. In case you're confused. All right, Jock. Uh, I have empty hands. So, uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. So I draw two. When I oh yeah, I need some little tokens. So I'm going to get attacked probably by three guys and not be able to defend the baby, and that's bad. So get in here and distract them. <laughs> All right. Do we do some attacks and, like, get rid of them? Like, I feel like these guys, these two aren't coming well, back. Can't... I don't know. But even if you hit him, it just goes to these guys anyway. I know, so I'm saying, like, just yeah. take these guys out first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just so less attacks happen. Yeah, we can't sacrifice shock. No, we're going to go in there. <laughs> Took the baby. Yeah, I shouldn't have brought the baby. Well, we didn't know. We didn't, I guess we could have. I also thought they were going to end up starting here. Yeah, same. That was a trick. Yeah, they did. But try. it could have, based on different things happening, if our misfortune was higher, we probably would have had enemies in there. All right, so I'm ending turn. Yeah. All right, flicker. 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 Where's my little dot? I think actually I can shoot in from here. But again, you're not closer to them. So when they go on their turn, they still go after the baby in shock because nobody's adjacent. So. I can get in there. Yeah, we just have to be able to split them up or something. Uh, let's see. They have only defensive five. Okay. okay. Like chalk and block like a good maybe twice and be fine. No problem, but, uh, but yeah. Still only more do one that. damage. That's a problem. Yeah, I know. But let's do... I can do... I don't know what to... Yeah, and then you won't be able to move, right? If I do defend too many times with chalk. I won't be able to leave the space, so yeah, like I ha two, yeah. You two, need to get three, these guys four, all adjacent. Five. Or we need to get them adjacent. Yeah, I will move up one. I'm just trying to think here. This I'd like to do for that, and I need to move with this one. So let's do an attack. Of. Hey Jerry. Hey Jerry. Two, four, five, six, seven. Seven on circle. Minus two, it's still five. We're successful. Okay. Then I could have rerolled that, but I don't want the danger. I'm still successful. Let's lower danger by one. And then I will move. And I can move two, but I'll just move one. Then we can choose. Okay. She is done. One, two, three, Robert. four, five. Oh, what do we have? No tricks. So Gribbert definitely needs to move up. Oops. What she will do with this card. That will heal him one. When he heals, he gets sort of badly injured. Then... Okay, I hope you had a nice vacation. We will attack. Their defense is five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, that's so seven with a reroll possible. And the sneaky will actually lower danger by one. Yes. Hey, we're getting somewhere here. But I'll roll danger on the die, hopefully not. Then you can but... reroll. Power. Yeah. All right. I got the power. <laughs> All right. Uh, almost there. I want to get this card. I don't want to buy these. Did you hit circle? Uh, whatever I hit. Yeah, sure. Nice. Of course. Like. <laughs> Wait a well. Like, I don't even need to say it. All right. These are gone. Then it will draw in turn. All right, Blaze. Sorry. Yeah, if I had my leap card, I would have leaped up here and turned this thing on. But the only problem is we all go through it and we get hurt. But uh, 
I think because I'll spend my uh, scone to do the test automatically, so I still have cards maybe, but we'll see. I don't know if that's needed. All right, I got to move in with Blaze. Then I'll move out. Oh, yeah, yeah. Again, after I attack. Yeah, we just need to lead all the enemies out, I think. I just want to get. Because then... I can do two damage. Maybe. To somebody. So oh. let's do three, four, five, six, seven. Seven. I'll take a fatigue to my discard pile to draw a card, which will be my exit card. So dangerous. Oh, no. no. Okay. I'm doing seven attack. I guess on. Circle, so he'll be one away. Minus one, we're good. I have a reroll, but I no, I don't want the danger, so two damage. Just one or two? Two. Oh. oh, actually, did I play? I didn't play any. Oh, it's only one. Okay. Oh, I could have put this in. Okay. Those two. Let's change your but cards then I around. I change my card around to be this. Or whatever. <laughs> yeah, so then it's two. Sorry, yes, yes, yes. I forgot that I need to play those. Did you get your power? I didn't. Oh no, it was. It wasn't, it was minus one. I was saying that I could. How did it turn to a power? I don't know. Okay, cool. I couldn't reroll, anyways. Okay. Okay, Anyways, cool. okay. And then I can move with this for two. Yeah. Back out here. He's done. One, two, three. I forgot that I need to play those. For Chalk. Whoa. Whoa, who's going to move now? All right. I will move for two with the heal to get rid of badly injured. Take the baby. One, two. Did you attack on your way? Or? Don't care. Okay. But maybe I should. One is almost dead. One, two, three. But then I'd have to five. stop in the space. No, I, I, I know. I could have moved for one. If you can't, it's fine. Just let me think. Check in, because. Yeah, I could. Where's this card? Mm. And then just... You don't have to if you just want to get out. But... Yeah, but let me think. So one move. The danger goes up. We're at three right now. Uh, let's say danger goes up. If that's the case, I'm in their space. I can attack for like a five, but that's oh, not. Hold on. I can give you another <laughs> two. I can give you another two. Okay. And then you're successful. Let's kill one, right? It's one yeah, left. Yeah, sure. So I'll play those. I'll roll a die. If I'm in their space. Minus, minus one. one. We're good. This guy's gone, circle or whatever, he's out. Uh, I do the heal thing, get rid of badly injured. I add a danger because I had to have played a fatigue card to do such things. I'll put fatigue card in the fatigue card pile. Could reroll, but I don't want to risk it. I know, that's what I've been doing. Uh, the mountain would have actually... Oh, that would have been... A... You can play one less card because oh. mount... I had a mountain in there, which would have gave me one extra that. Okay. It actually did two damage. That's fine. But we'll just we kill one. I think still killing one is better yeah. for one less okay, damage. Okay, so that's of there. Five. I'm going to click end turn. Here one, we go. One, two, three, four, five. Draw some cards. So discontent is no. We'll be putting it up Plus to two. One. Enemies in play. Follow the steps. Okay, move each enemy that does not already share a space of familiar with the baby up to two movement points towards the nearest. Okay, they're in our space. Range attack. No. Melee attack. Okay. okay. So do let's it. do the unsavory first, who is mailing for five. Let's see, who can take that? Maybe he can take that. Yeah, we just need to make sure you them. have one, two, three, four, five movement is ideal to get away before they activate again. And I can even, when I, if I use the frog, I might be able to just uh, do this skill check like for free using Scone of Heroes. Okay. And we can turn that on, but. Okay, I'll defend. Oh, sorry. Who killed? You killed. Did you get power for? Uh, no, I got. Uh, oh, yeah, power for, for your kill. For shock, right? Yep. All right. I'm going to defend for two plus my shard. My collar is three. Ugh, danger. And I take two. No rerolls? No. All right. That's him. She's going next. I don't want to use her cards to defend. Do I? Uh, I, I think this guy will come back to you. haunt us later too. I, I bet this guy is not the only time you see this mini in the game either. This is just a run away from him mission, not a fight him mission. All right, I'll defend for two, three. I'll defend for three for the second guy. Oh, how much is he hitting for? Six. Yeah, that's fine. I'll oh, defend no. for three. Oh, danger again. And then she takes three. Oh, no, we might not all get to go to get out. Oh, oops. One, two, three. But maybe I have sneaky guards. No, I don't. Okay. 
And then they would move only if there's no oh, baby. Okay. No one's trying to steal the baby though. That's good. Uh, flicker. Flicker. Okay, so she's just running, right? I would assume so. We're all just going to try to go to the exit space and um, maybe do the whole. Um, where was it? Skill check. Uh, might chill, skill check a five to release the steam. But the only thing is, for the rest of the game, when a figure enters a space, her life's reduced by two. This does not affect flying creatures. But no, she doesn't. I don't know if we I need to that, do that yeah, for the story, if it's funny, but it doesn't get us to write anything down. So I don't think we even need to do that. All right. So let's move. I need to move for her. She can cross the. So one, two, three, four, she only needs. So then let's spend four, one, which is a heal. And she is here. There's no chance she does a five might test along the way, right? No. Okay, that's fine. And I'll just save this if Unless someone does. Unless we, no, because we don't want to burn each other. So that two, doesn't make sense. Yeah. Enter. Yeah, we want it to be like the last character does it, but Gribbert. Two. So Gribbert, does he have leap? Yeah. Three. One, two, three. Uh, but we'll I'm do. I'm hoping someone doesn't get stranded in there, but. One, two. Okay, let's go with. Yeah, the only problem is carrying the baby out, right? Danger. Yeah, yeah. So I think. Mm, I think I'll do reckless here. That will take a fatigue. Draw a card. And I think Gribbert will take the baby here. And then reckless again. And Gribbert will take the baby here. I'm going to use a scone of heroes just for fun because it sits here collecting dust and I don't use it for anything. Probably is better to save it for something more important. Oh, it just automatically passed? Uh, discard this card to pass the test. Cannot be used. Okay. But maybe not. Maybe I don't turn on the steam because it would hurt everyone else. Yeah, forget it. Forget it. Try. I think you also spent. Did you spend one too many cards or no? Maybe you didn't. I don't know. Okay. Then I'm going to play this card. Go one more. And then I'm going to play this card to go one more. Okay. Then that is me. One, two, three. Let's see if we can get these two out of here before. Ah, okay, that's fine. Uh, discontent, no. Okay, corner three. They're already in our space here. I'm thinking. How many do I need to move? One, two, three, four, five, I need. So let me block. Okay, hold on. Uh, what is it? One, two, three, four, five? Yeah. Okay. So I can take one, you take one. And I can But I can out. I can help you on one and take one. As like, long as you still have enough to get out with those other cards you have left. Yeah, that's why I put them down. So I have five move right okay. here. Okay. And I have the reckless, so I could go crazy if I want. I have five move too. So okay. let me uh, You take the first one, which is But how much do you have for defense? I have three. And what's your health? Five. Five, but I'm gonna heal one. Okay. So I'm gonna just defend for three. With uh, chalk on the lieutenant because he hit that sure. Out. Well, then maybe I should put my bullet defense in, but whatever. Plus oh, two. plus two. That was a good way to roll. Yeah, them. but I, I dropped that in my hand like it slipped. <laughs> you just take one. That's how I need to roll more often. Not so focused, <laughs> just like who cares? Whee! You just take one then. All right. And am I badly? Oh, sorry. You're defending for three, four, five. Yeah, he hits for six. Nope. I don't think so. Not that guy, right? No. Nope. Okay. No, okay, you... and then I'll defend for... And I'll assist with a guard of three. Three, four, five, six. So, do you have the die? Sorry. Here, uh, let me do it for you. Yeah, I'm up one. Plus one, there okay, you nice. See, just throw it, like, don't even Either care. Him. I take none. Yeah. And I did heal one, sorry, because I played a heal card. Okay, good, and then I still have five to boot. Yes, those aren't sound effects. That was the app. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm not making any noises. I'm not losing my mind. I swear. All right, I'm done. I'm not getting into done. the story and acting like my characters. Yeah, so we're just going to move for five. Yeah, and your turn two, draw. One, two, three, four, five. Yep. Chalk. Move for five. One, two, three, and my four, turn five. draw up. And then we get to listen to something, right? At the end of this. This is this one. Three, three, two, two seven. seven. Airships are marvelous inventions, 
and the familiars appreciated the speed with which they zipped to the city. Watching that massive metropolis come into view filled each of them with awe, though Blaze spent most of the trip hiding her face in a pack. When the airship dropped them off at a landing tower high above the city, they gave Gertie a wave and disembarked. What a bunch of weirdos, she said before taking off. <laughs> After taking countless stairs down, the familiars emerged onto the streets and began asking passerby for directions. The city was immense, its streets labyrinthine, and its inhabitants towering and loud. Flicker seemed especially nervous of the humans. The brave familiars ventured out, wandering the many streets and alleyways, always trying to keep to themselves and not draw too much attention. They finally found their destination, a very narrow and quirky looking house, sandwiched between a bakery and a shoe cobbler. Chalk knocked on the door and they heard a voice and some rummaging, the sound of something breaking, and finally, some cursing. The door was unlocked and a small man with crazy hair and explosive eyebrows stared back at them. Well, what are you selling? Ribbert cleared his throat. <clears throat> Afternoon. Uh, we are looking for the great wizard Pengrouse. The man guffawed at that. <laughs> I am the only Pengrouse here, but I am not a wizard. Unless you mean a wizard with a brush. I am Philandro Pengrouse, artist to kings. Assuming we ever have one of those again. An overweight tabby cat sauntered over from inside the house to rub against Pengrouse's leg. And when he saw the familiars, he gave an angry hiss. Blaze growled back. <sniffs> Flicker rose up to the painter's eye level and whispered, Mr. Pengross, sir, we were sent by Morelius. Oh, that's a name I haven't heard in a long time. I can't say it's particularly popular in this city, though it will always be welcome here. Come in, my friends, come in. Let's get you off the street. Pengross's cat was less than pleased to make way for the newcomers. <laughs> and the artist raised a bushy eyebrow when Chalk stomped in holding a baby. Curious times. Yes, very curious indeed. Oh. You completed chapter three. This is also the end of era one of Familiar Tales. Save your progress now by doing the following. Record the amount of misfortune on the end of the chapter with, with chapter three with on the, end of the chapter three with on the space provided on the campaign journal. Add together your misfortune totals for one to three and write the sum in the space provided. So again, why I was getting pissy with, with this stuff, because when you read in the rules, it talks about, like, depending on your misfortune, uh, it, things can change in future eras and stuff. So, so we had a total of 32. I think. Uh, retrieve an era two campaign journal from the journal pad. Copy the following information over to it. So if you can do such things, if you have it over there. I do. Um, oh, I see. So write your arrow one misfortune. Okay. Which players control which familiars. All right, I can do that again. Yeah. Any phrases that haven't been crossed out yet. The only one I think was a chapter two one. I don't know. No what does that mean? Any phrases? Like, do I? These are all like, of those that haven't. Have we crossed any of them out? No. Were we ever told to? And you just, just at odds with friends or at odds with bogeys, we changed to friends. Okay, with so transfer them all over. This is what's cool about this game. It, it keep like it goes through the whole campaign based on choices you make earlier. I reread it this morning. Based on choices, like all these story beats, you know, just like uh, any kind of choose your own adventure story thing would do. All these little phrases we write down, some of them could come back like. 15 hours of play from now could come back and, and mean something, or maybe they don't. Maybe you never bump into those people. Maybe you never uh, repair that, you know, hammer or whatever it was, you know, but now we know. So like things could come up in the future that we get to do, or we don't. And based on another playthrough, you might bump into things or not, which is super cool. Sorry. Mm -hmm.
Okay. Done. All right. So toss out the Era 1 campaign journal. We okay. don't need that anymore. Don't need that anymore. Uh, fill in the four bubble, number four bubble or whatever, at, at um, Ben Grouse's house location on the Era 2 campaign travel map. Can you show the travel map? Can mm -hmm. we see this? I want to see how different this is. Oh, sorry. Sorry. So yeah, so that's, uh, yeah, wow. That's quite a bit different, actually. And then look at this, start chapter 4, 6, Pen Grouse's house. Chapter 4, 5, 6, so I guess you start there each time. Yeah, and, and then it just is going to And then from there. there you branch out and do other things based on the story, and then based on you coming to the city square in different chapters, different entries will be done. Different, and then we can go different, different encounters. Ways. Dom and Holt Harbor, Royal Palace, like, that's really cool. That's really cool how each era is different. And then we start all these again, our story crafts. So cool. banish the following cards. The discontent key card, because it's, it's different going forward, right? Um, the child character card. Yeah. Okay, so no longer is the baby a baby. In, in we're gonna, it's growing up, right? We're going to a new era. All of the cards in the crafting deck we only had three we never got, which is totally fine, because obviously they'll upgrade. All of the cards in the artifact pile. So there was two artifacts we never found playing the way the choices we made and the things we did. Uh, all of the cards in the training deck. So the cool part is, so the, these cards we didn't get or do more than once or whatever. Oh, it does say except for bond and storycraft cards. Oh, okay because they're just going to repeat. So then we advance the story growing up with the child our bond and our story stuff going forward are going to be different. But we don't have the numbers on here. They're different numbers, so I guess... That's what I mean. But this is just an example, Mel. Oh, you don't read these numbers, right? I know, but I didn't know if there was different storycraft cards that got put in in the next era. Oh, maybe, because there they is... They do have the same Yeah, numbers. watch, watch. Okay, so this but is the anyway. only one we didn't get, so hide is gone, which is cool. Okay. So based on how you play and what you bought and what you chose to do, like, if I chose to spend more energy doing these storycraft and bond cards, we maybe would have not bought some of those leveled up cards we got. So it's really cool that's the way we played. Maybe that was wrong. Maybe we needed the help of the bonding and the story crafting to keep the baby from getting out of control. And, you know, like just the way we play, it com could be completely different from what you experience based on just choices and how you play and how you spend your power. Uh, then it says open Era 2 deck box and do the following. I just want to show this. The reason why we're showing this is just to uh, so you understand how the game evolves, but I don't think we're going to play it on stream uh, because of spoilers and stuff. We'll, we'll leave it for you guys to explore. We may play the game in the future, but uh, that's why I want to set it up. So if we do come back to play it, I want it all to be ready so we're not confused. Um, but uh, open the Air One Misfortune. If yeah, see, look here. If the Air One Misfortune total is 20 or higher, banish Millie A. Otherwise, Millie B, it's yeah. higher probably, yeah, right? Because that stupid second chapter problem. Yeah. Uh, We're going to banish Millie A. Yeah. So, yeah, based on how much misfortune, so it matters. You don't want to just go crazy and let misfortune go nuts. But if you did, you know, it, it changes that. So here's Millie. This is the baby growing up. I like how she has different colored eyes. Oh, I didn't know that. She obviously has some kind of magical power based on some of the story things we were hearing. So follow. When a familiar that shares a space with Millie performs a move action, they may choose to have Millie move along with them. Millie cannot follow a familiar into water or across a solid white line. So she's now heavier, you can't fly with her. Which is cool, it's super thematic. And she no longer drags everyone down. Because she'll just walk she, with yeah, us. Yeah, she doesn't take extra movement. So she doesn't need the stroller anymore. Uh, we left the stroller in Era 1, which is nice. Uh, then let's see here. Shuffle all of the skill cards together with the bond and storycraft cards. So just so you guys know, there's like now level threes of things, you know, and better cards. So you're going to level up the cards you could buy. Oh, man. There's like lots of options in here. So these will get shuffled together with these bond and storycraft cards to make like a new, you know, little deck building market row to purchase from. That will go there. Uh, there's a new um, discontent card to deal with. And then, of course, there's new story business. Uh, so the artifact deck. There's only one card. I don't know, maybe something messed up there. Yeah, maybe there's only one. 
I mean, it has a two. Yeah, yeah, it has yeah. a two on it. Okay. And then the, the yeah, there's a ton here though in the crafting deck. The crafting deck feels a lot bigger than before. Okay. Um, set the child card next to the board. Set both sideboards to zero. Discard all afflictions and marks and of devotion from our character. Yeah, I healed them away. And then set each familiar's life dial to the max, and then you continue chapter four now. Or put the game away and resume with chapter four later time. So we're gonna put it away and then we'd follow. Each player puts all their skill tars, blah, blah, blah. So we'll save up the game after the stream's over, put everything back in deck boxes ready to go for the next chapter. Um, so I gotta make sure I put my cards in the right spot before that so I don't mess that up. Teagues are there, okay. This is stash business, but I'll just keep those together. This character stuff. This character stuff. And then, yeah, if you can pass the deck box, just to show so people understand. I don't know if we showed it before, like how easy saving is, but you can see it's literally like three steps. Um, but again, if you're only playing one, if you're playing one deck running more than one character uh, familiar, you just use one deck box or everything in, you know? But I love this. It's like Aftermath had this too. The save system is so smart. It's just like the quick cleanup of these playing out of a book games. I love it. Um, and that's it. And then you would throw tokens in there if you had tokens and everything, and then boom, there's there's Gilbert done. And then these have their own box. And the cool part is like all in the box, all the stuff is kept separate in the, the encounter box. And then the discarded stuff as you play the campaign and you find things is just kept in here. And it's fully resettable. Like so easy to reset it. It's so good. That part I love about the game. Um, but it's very cool. And then we click done. So yeah, that's uh, that's familiar tales. That's a good good enough look, I think. Playing like a third of the game ish. I mean, maybe some of the later chapters get a little longer, more things to do, more play sessions. Um, but yeah, I think that's enough to kind of show it off. We may continue in the future. We may not. I don't know. I, I gotta like definitely look at the schedule, see what things are going on. We may pull it back out. We're gonna save it. We're gonna keep it as it is. Maybe we'll put a poll in the future sometime down the road, and we're like. Ah, what game could we play? What could we continue? What could we do? Um, this might work well with some of our other players to play with off stream. It might work well with some other people we know to join us on stream and continue it. I don't know. We're just going to leave it. That, I think that's enough. Um, definitely shows enough about the game. You guys can understand uh, all our complaints, all our praises for the game. I think I've said everything throughout the streams, things I love, things I dislike. So I'm not going to repeat that here. Uh, you would obviously watch the whole thing. You would have seen that and heard that many times. Um, but yeah, that's it. If you like the video, hit the like button. Mel, any final thoughts from you? No, I, I do love the story of the game. Though. I do too, very it's much. So good, that so keeps funny. Me, I do want to now with the new era. I am very curious to see how the grown-up child changes things, how the story evolves, how the funny, uh, you know, the baby humor stuff was funny, and then see how the, uh, you know, with the young child, like a toddler. Yes. Like, how does that all work? What kind of funny stuff happens there? And how does she interact with us? And I guarantee she's like freaking little Princess Elsa or whatever from um, Frozen or those like power. She's like a Disney power baby uh, or like a uh, Grogu, you know, like yeah. uh, the, the Disney thing. Make a, make a child, give them powers, you know, that's, that's the Disney 101, right? Yep. Um, but yeah, I'm curious to see where it goes. It's very cool. I love the characters. The voice acting awesome. Um, I do want to play more and see more. But for now, we'll leave it where it is. Um, so if you're looking for more episodes, you'll find them in the video description. There's a playlist link. If you want, if they ever happen, they'll be down below. Uh, again, thanks to the folks over at Plan Hat Games for providing this game for us to play on the channel. Thanks to you for hanging out with us during this, making decisions, having some fun, pointing out rules, mistakes, um, you know, giggling at the story, listening to me, Mel and me fight over things, trying to be way, take this game way too hardcore and way too serious as we usually do with games. Um, but that's what we do here. Uh, if you're looking for more playthroughs like this one, check out the playlist section on the channel. Tons of playthroughs of story games, campaign games, and all that. Um, but yeah, we'll be back tomorrow. I have a member-only stream. I'm testing the membership YouTube feature tomorrow uh, with just a boring unboxing of Dice Run Adventures and sorting out all the tokens and cards and dividers and game tray storage and all that stuff. But while I'm doing that, we'll just hang out with the members and chat if anyone even shows up. If you don't, uh, that's okay. It's not the most entertaining thing. Um, but I'm just trying out the feature to see how a members only stream works for future plans on the channel to reward uh, the members uh, who join the channel on YouTube. Um, so I'll be doing that tomorrow. And then we are playing Dice Run Adventures uh, for the first time. Kyle's going to join us. We're going to play three player tomorrow evening. 
So check that out. It's already scheduled. You can click notify me so you don't miss it or subscribe to the channel to find your way back. You can turn on notifications so you don't miss it. And then I'll be finishing off the Hoplomachus solo series, playing that beast from Chip Theory Games on Wednesday right now it's scheduled. It may move depending on how crazy Dice Throne Adventures get and how late we're playing that and all that kind of stuff, but we'll see. Um, but you can set a reminder for that one. Click notify me on the, the stream and you'll get notified when it go, goes live, even if I change it and assuming YouTube's setting out notifications. So that's Wednesday. Um, and then after that, I'm not sure. We have a friend uh, that used to play with us on the channel who we're going to see for the first time since pre-COVID. Mm -hmm. um, coming down for the weekend, we hope, unless things change. So we may have a stream this coming weekend. We may not. I, I don't know. The plans haven't been like solidly locked in. So if you don't see a stream scheduled for a few days, we're still alive. Um, our producers and members and whatever will see us in the Discord, I'm sure. We'll be checking in in there. Um, but yeah, anyways. Uh, so yeah, stay tuned. We'll see you in tomorrow's streams, I guess, if you guys want to watch Dice Throne Adventures. Thank you all for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Thank you.